for the job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D, D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. Job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes. I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier. Finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D. D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, man. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. And super excited today, guys. As some of you guys already know, in yesterday's live stream, right in the middle of it, uh, we got a special delivery to my door in real life. And um, a, something, uh, something very nice came. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right now. Take a look. There it is. The new Thrustmaster TCA Airbus Throttle Quadrant has finally come in. Um, I know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about this. Uh, throttle. I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can. I'm still uh, waiting for more information from Thrustmaster and from some of the developers uh, about it. It's kind of early right now. It's kind of like the pre-release, as I guess you could say, uh, because it's still being shipped or starting to ship out uh, to consumers. Uh, not everybody has gotten them yet. I uh, don't believe you can order it because it is sold out everywhere that I have personally looked. Um, but if you pre-ordered it, you should be expected to start shipping out pretty soon. They're still trying to work out a few kinks here. Uh, I know for sure uh, people have already learned and probably heard of Microsoft Flight Simulator. There is no default profile, so you have to set up all the controls manually. We'll talk about that. Uh, it does work on X-Plane 11. 
there are a few controls here and there that you might have to remap uh, to make it work for specific third party apps. I mean, not apps, but third party uh, planes like the Tolis or the Flight Factor or the Jar Design. Uh, but it should work for the most part right out the box for X Plane and P3D. Uh, right now, Microsoft Flight Sim is kind of where a lot of the issues come in. Also, a lot of people have been asking about the uh, reverser detent. I can go ahead and this right here. The reverser detent. If you go ahead and click those, it's like a mechanism. It allows you to pull it all the way back into the reverser function. We'll talk more about that. It's a bit of a currently there's a tricky way to get that to work. Um, and so we'll talk about that. But before we get begin, let me give you guys some recognition for coming through. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. It's your boy Blue. What's going on, Grimlock? Welcome to the stream. Red Arrow Gaming. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, Tino Star. Hello. Welcome to the stream, man. Alexa. Welcome to the stream. Jake Bro. Broaden. Welcome back, man. Great to see you, man. We're live on Twitch, Facebook, and on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to see you. Happy Friday to you, man. If you want to fly with us, by the way, um, we are flying from uh, somewhere in Northern Africa, Delta Alpha Alpha Gulf, up to Barcelona. And if we have time, we'll continue from Barcelona to Marseille in France. France. So it's gonna be a pretty cool flight. Um, this is actually a flight that was suggested recently. Um, so one of you guys actually suggested this, uh, a similar flight of this in this area. So we're flying out here, fixing things for you. Huge shout out to you, my friend. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Sassy Gaming, I said hi to you already. Road Pilot, welcome back. Good to see you, Captain MJ. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Jackson K Man is in the building. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Lads going crazy. Welcome to the stream, bro. Chester Hernandez, welcome back, man. Hola, bonjour. History and aviation, welcome to the stream, my friend. Great to see you, great to see you. Whoa, Ezekiel Walker, Walker, welcome back. 915 Aviation, what's up, man? Let me go ahead and post the route again. Uh, I Sadly, I was in a hurry to kind of get everything set up today, so Nightbot does not have the flight information. So if you want the flight information, just ask me. I just posted it into the chat. You should have it now on YouTube and on uh, Twitch and on Facebook, actually. I just posted the whole route. Um, do not have that set up right now, so sorry about that, guys. Alexander, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good flight. It's going to be a good flight. But, um, yeah, looking forward to testing out this baby here. This uh, this, this throttle. It's, it's a whole different animal, you know what I mean, when it comes to, to flying. Do a flight from Brussels to Lisbon. Uh, send that to my feedback or to in, the, in an actual comment, not in the live stream, so I can keep track of it. Pilot Raid, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the stream, good man. Whoa. All right, let's get started, guys. Let's get started. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the uh, actual um, throttle up here. It's so funny because last time when we did the video on the Airbus side stick, which I also do have, I have the, the, the set. Uh, it was people didn't believe that I had it. I was like, I mean, why would I lie? Like, I'm not that kind of person. So I was like, I had to put it on screen just to prove it. So I'll leave it on it for a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but just off the bat, man, I mean, you already know. Um, it looks just like an Airbus thing. It, it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool how, like last night I stepped away from it, and I was doing something else in my house, whatever. I came back and looked at. It, I was like, man, that's crazy. I don't know. It, like it didn't really click until I I left, came back, looked at. It, and I was like, man, that looks like it. Like it looks like the real thing. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, somebody did also ask me, can you change the tension? Um, that's something I had a question on as well. And you can, so I went ahead, a screw comes in the box uh, that allows you to, uh, there's like a little screw in the front section over here um, that you can actually just turn, you just turn it to the right and it just tightens it. So it makes the tension a little bit more um, tight as you're moving the throttle forward and back. Because yesterday I had a complaint that it felt a little bit too light, a little too loose. So uh, I went ahead and did that. But all good, all good, man. Uh, let's get started. First of all, we're gonna be using Rex Weather Engine today. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, let's get the battery turned on actually and you will also go ahead and shut the music off just to get started So that uh, we can hear some of the sounds of this a320. This is the fly-by wire a320 NX And again, this is a test flight because um, again Currently there's currently this will sorry. Okay. Hold on. This will support Microsoft Flight Simulator X-Plane and P3D But currently it only supports X-Plane and P3D fully 
Uh, and so, like I said, this is the early stages of the of this hardware. So it's going to be a patch coming out pretty soon, um, probably the next week, whenever you guys are getting yours. Um, that's going to allow it to um, work pretty seamlessly with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And they're working with Sobo and the Microsoft team on making that happen. So that's really the only thing left in the process um, before you know it's like all the way right so if anybody's wondering huh wonder why this is not working all the way that's because they're still working on a patch to get it fixed up so i mean it kind of makes sense microsoft flight simulator is in so many ways in development so it's got to be pretty tough for a hardware developer to come out with a product you know when microsoft is still trying to get their stuff together as well you know all right so we got the battery turned on we got uh, we're going to uh, pop on the apu hit the master switch and while we're doing that we'll go ahead and get the eight ears set up and aligned. I should already have the flight plan plugged in, so we'll be skipping that part today to kind of go, go ahead and get jumped into our flight pretty quickly today. Let's go ahead and get the jetway up here. And I'm um, take that off the screen just for a little while. Let me know if you have any other questions about it. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. All right, we'll get the jetway. Oh, it's already connected. I think I already hit the button. I think I just disconnected it. All right, connect please. Yes, I already did my flight plan in the FMC. I just went ahead and preloaded it today. So we can skip that part. If I have a second, you know, before we take off, I'll go ahead and try to say get a few of the things updated, like Nightbot, get the, the correct um, flight plan of Nightbot, get the correct flight plan up, uploaded to the drive and everything like that. But right now it's in the chat. I'll post it there again for those of you who did not see it. Uh, we're flying from Delta Alpha Alpha Bravo. I didn't put that in there, did I? Delta Alpha Alpha Bravo is where we're uh, starting. And we're heading to uh, Barcelona, Spain today. Flying Iberia. Uh, does Rex, Rex weather affect your flight characteristics or is it just visual? Uh, it does affect uh, flight characteristics in a way that it affects the wind. So it, 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 use, it changes the wind in your sim. Matter of fact, thanks for reminding me. That's what I was going to do. I was going to set that up. So hit clear skies. And then I have this open on another window. And all I need to do is hit start weather injection. And then here in just a couple seconds, you'll see it should. I think it might actually be clear out here. And um, what is the name of this place? Algar? Algar? Something like that? Afri uh, North Africa? I, I don't know exactly what it's called. Dab on them haters. Yes, sir, Monster Kate. <laughs> that was funny. All right, there it is. So now, even though it's, yeah, yeah, look how different that weather is. Earlier, I was running live weather. When we first spawned in, we were running live weather. Um, so this is based off of the local METAR for the, for the airport. And so look how different the weather is. Again, it's the same exact cloud, like, you know, stuff. It's the same visual stuff, right? It just changes uh, what... Um, what data is being used basically it's basically just feeding the sim different data for its live weather so all right let's go and get started i do need to get set up on vatsim because we will be flying on vatsim there probably won't be any traffic but that's okay i'm still gonna be on vatsim for those of you who want to join us on vatsim so just give me a little bit a uh, little bit of time to get that going and then we'll be on our way today like i said no flight plan to put in uh, we already got that plugged in and we should be good to go yeah rex you're right man you're right i was gonna get it pretty soon uh, so, quick question, just in chat, how many of you guys out there who are watching now have pre-ordered um, either thing, whether it was the joystick or the throttle, um, and have got it or haven't gotten it? Because I know some people have said that they've gotten it, so a lot of people, most people are saying they have not gotten it. So the majority of people have not gotten theirs, but some of you guys have gotten them already. Turn the screens on. And we'll do the first officer side too. I almost thought about flying as a first officer today on the right seat and then switching it around putting the throttle on the left joystick on my right but i was like yeah that's i got you know i gotta go through all the setup process to do that so decided against it but again you can see here as i move uh actually i'm gonna switch that back over again as i move the throttle it goes forward it does have all the click spots too so in the real thing and if we zoom in zoom in here you probably can't see it on the camera. No, you can't. It's too far. But on, on, the, on the throttle itself, it has those four slots. So it has toga at the, at the front and then flex. Hold on. I missed it. Toga, flex, climb, idle, 
and then if I pull it back, it goes there. So you'll notice one thing. I'm just going to shut that up. You'll notice one thing, and this, this may change. So please just understand this is early. Uh, this may change, but first of all, it's kind of like when I was in the Airbus and told us yesterday, these lined up perfectly. So as I go through the detents, so there's actually click spots as well. I didn't realize this till I looked more into it. But as you go through here, each of these is actually a click spot that you could map to something. So you could get creative there. But if you look here, as I'm moving it, this is Toga. This is fully forward. If I go back to Flex, which is here on the actual throttle, you'll notice that on the in, in Microsoft, it's not exactly at Flex because this is the line that we're going by. Not over here, but over here, from what I understand. Um, and so this flex, this line is like all the way back here behind climb, unless it's going by this where flex is, because this is, let's see, we're gonna go down to climb now. Yeah, so it's not exactly aligned, at least not in Microsoft. Uh, on X-Plane, it was perfectly aligned with each of these little detents, but it's still, it should still work the same whenever we're flying. Uh, we'll find out. And then, like I said, going into reverse. So I did, I did find out that um, for now, I'm gonna have to toggle. So right now my toggle switch is actually here. I mapped it to here. Because these buttons here, these are these actual detent things, these are not, these are not, this is not an access and this is not a, um, a click spot either. You can't map this to anything. It's just basically a mechanical me mechanism that allows you to go down farther. Also, another thing that I learned was the uh, you can actually if you're flying something else so say that you may maybe you don't have another throttle project maybe this is the only thing you have and you want to fly a GA plane or you want to fly a Boeing or you want to fly anything else that's not Airbus and you don't want these little detents right you could actually turn that completely off and um, to do that is actually a little mechanism on the very bottom of here that to do that you just, like I said it comes with a, a screwdriver you just unscrew it and you move it around um, and then you'll be able to have a full range from forward to back without having the little clicks. So um, just to let you guys know so a few things that I learned overnight. But for now, uh, we're gonna have to actually use our toggle switch. So basically we're gonna go like this, hit this button here. This is what I have it mapped to. You can map it to anything. And let's see if it'll work. I think, yep, there it is. So now we're in reverse. So we have to still go forward to do the reverse because you can see right here is where the yellow tape is, uh, where the reverser detent area is and it's actually not very big it's extremely small you would pretty much have to find a way to map this area to like max reverse thrust if you really want to get the work so i still need to do some more testing on it but that's why we're flying it today that's why we're doing some tests even today um, also from what i understand this in microsoft flight simulator the in engine one and engine two is actually not mappable yet once we get the patch in we'll be able to map that but the crank switch does work see that to the left and then to the left. And then I have these two uh, are here. You can map it if you wanted to. Right now it's usually the fire, uh, it's a fire alarm or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it does. But the fire switch, um, and I mapped it to my gear and my parking brake just because that's, you know, I don't use a fire button. That's rarely gonna be in a, a case I need to worry about that in the sim. So anyway, that, there that is. I just want to share, share that with you for a second before we get moving, before we get busy flying, everything like that. Uh, RJ, what up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. If you didn't uh, long, I'm afraid that the reverse is actually just idle because of how the access works. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the way it works right now is that the reverse is just basically idle, but the problem is that the simulator does not tech detect that as reverse, so you would have to toggle, use a toggle switch to go ahead and get the full range of what the reverse would need would need to be. You got me. Chances welcome to the stream, man. Does the throttle reverse work for X-Plane? Same issue I've noticed with X-Plane as well. Um, you need to uh, make a toggle to do the same thing. Again, it may change here in the next week um, as it's starting to get shipped out and they're sending out patches for, you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator and for X-Plane, P3D, stuff like that to, uh, for the firmware. Um, but as of right now, in this early period, um, that is the way that it works. So um, hopefully it does change because it'd be pretty cool to be able to just hit the switch and then like pull it all the way back and it, it get the full range. But I've heard that there are some other workarounds, but today that's what we're using today. Botanic Mercury, welcome to the stream. Juno Capri, welcome to the stream. Are you guys ready to fly? Let's get to it, man. We've been talking a lot. Um, so sorry about that. But, um, you know, it's a special day, man. Again, huge thank you and special shout out to uh, Thrustmaster. For, uh, providing this one. That's why I got it so early. They, they sent it to me, so I do appreciate that 100%. So, like I said, we are here at Delta Alpha Alpha 
Golf. Heading to Barcelona, Lima, Echo, Bravo, Lima. I'm going to one more time. I'm going to post that in the chat for anybody who needs it or wants to join us in today's flight. Is it DAAG, is it DAAG or DAAB? I already forgot. Let me look. <laughs> before, before I lead you guys around, yeah, DAAG uh, and then now to LEBL. Barcelona is actually very well modeled in Microsoft Flight Sim, but I will say that for sure. All right, so we have flight plan already put in. Um, let's see, APU should be ready to go. We'll hit start. Um, IRS is probably aligned after we've been talking so much, so I'm sure that's already done. Overhead should be okay for now. Uh, let's see what, what else we need to do here. Let's go ahead and we'll leave. We're not going to worry about the radios at the moment. Let me get my flight plan file with VATSIM and I'll get logged on to there. In the meantime, that's really it. <laughs> that's really it. Oh, charts, 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 charts. Uh, runway, I'm, I'm gonna tell you here in just a second. Let me get let me get it loaded up here on my laptop. And we'll get the weather as well. Weather here in this city. Uh, I don't know how to name, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this place that we're at right now. Uh, is uh, weather, weather, weather. Here it is. Weather is 310 at 12. Uh, few at 2300, broken at 5600. Thank you very much, Grizzly. What up, man, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arroyo family. I appreciate that. I believe it sounds like the APU is coming on. It'll be on here pretty pretty soon. The altimeter, though, is going to be... Where is it at? Where the heck is my altimeter? Or let me use this one instead. All right, QNH 1022. 1022. It is. This new throttle system is definitely interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this flight because I've only, I've only, I haven't done much test flying. I didn't have a lot of time after yesterday's live stream to really do a lot of tests. So looking forward to today's flight to see how it feels. I mean, we, we tested it a little bit yesterday, uh, but interested to see how it works in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, it should work very similar to the same as, as X-Plane, obviously. But, you know, Microsoft has its own kinks and stuff like that. They're still working out. Like, I hear something behind here. A propeller behind us. Uh, APU is available. APU bleed coming on. And so, you guys were asking what runway. Runway today. Uh, runway 27. Runway 27, guys. And what we'll do is we'll get our charts ready for today's flight too. Ringo Cody, thank you very much, my friend, for that subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Great to have you, man. Hopefully you're enjoying the flight so far. Uh, we'll be pushing back from the gate not too long. So I'm going to go down here and get my Navi charts. Thank you as well to Ford, Ford Stinger, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Royal family, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. All right, new flight. We'll load this from our from Simbrief. Carol, thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. What up, all the new members, man? Thank you guys very much for hanging out with us today. And welcome to the channel, man. I know a lot of you guys have been watching for a while and just never hit the sub button. It is all good. Uh, it's not even necessary. I, I don't even feel like it's necessary anymore. If you guys are coming out, showing your love, your support, it don't even matter if you sub anymore because, I, I, mean, I mean, subs are great. That's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not... You know devaluing the, the a sub um but obviously um you coming out and showing your support is a uh, way more important so thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging with me all right so let's get our chart here uh open chart list and again we're using sim toolkit pro if you're wondering what this is sim toolkit pro with navigraph inside of it so uh navigraph is a subscription uh to get charts and then sim toolkit pro is a free um it's a free app. It's very helpful. It's like a free flight bag, almost. It's very nice. Lord Foji, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. So here's runway 27 right here behind us. So we're parked here. We'll take, looks like, probably Alpha, no, Alpha, probably Alpha 2. I'm not even sure what this would be considered. Maybe Alpha, yeah, Alpha 1, something like that. We'll, we'll just kind of figure. We'll find a way. 27, though, guys. 27 for departure. And speaking of departures, our SID, our standard instrument departure, is going to be... V, what is it actually? Seda, Seda 1 Bravo. 
if I can find that here in our sits. Algiers. We'll see if this is actually a really good airport or not, because again, this was a uh, suggestion by one of you guys. Which one of these? Okay, here we go. Uh, to do this airport. Seda, one Bravo, that's a Seda, one Foxtrot, one Foxtrot, Foxtrot. I see everything but the one I want. Thank you, Amazel Talk Cocktails. I hope I didn't say that wrong. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to Blue Royal Family. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you guys for supporting on Twitch and on YouTube. You guys are amazing. Okay, here it is right here. I found it. All right, here's our departure. And we'll get the rest later. So we know we're taxing now. And we are ready to push back. External power is coming off. Beacon light is coming on. We'll go ahead and tell the jetway to get out of here. Just connect that. In the meantime, in between time, over here on my left screen, I'm going to go ahead and file for VATSIM and get logged into VATSIM. I still haven't done that yet. On with the V-Pilot. So again, if you're flying on X-Plane, P3D, whichever, you can still join us. We'll be Iberia 116 today for our call sign for leg one to Barcelona. All right, that is filed. I love how easy it is now to file a flight plan when you're using Simbri. It's amazing. IVE 116, we're in the A320. Neo. There it is. Connect. All right, we're connected. Now, if, we, if there's ATC out here, I'd be freaking, I, I would be surprised as heck. Like, really? In the middle, in the middle of Africa? <laughs> like, it's such a random place to have ATC right now. That's my opinion, anyways. I think it'd be amazing, but, you know. Uh, is that some real people? Yes, indeed. It is all real people. Real controllers, real pilots. No AI involved. Well, except for maybe, like, you know. Uh, occasional the ATIS might be run by the AI. It looks like we actually are going to have ATC going into Barcelona. So right now, no ATC, but we'll have ATC going to Barcelona. All right, guys, what to depart? Depart out of Algar. Let's go ahead and hop on pushback truck. Pushback truck. Do I need to ask for clearance? I probably do. Yeah, it's going to make me do that. Can maybe go through the whole thing. Ground services. Come on, buddy. There's my pushback truck. All right. I'll probably should leave that open. Juno, what up, man? What is actually going on right now? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, what do I think of on air? I'm going to sign up for a year today uh, for FS 2020. I think it's decent. Um, the price is very well, good for a year. Why is my reversers on? <laughs> I just realized that. All right, it's fixed. I was like, oh, that, that would have been an upset on takeoff, right? Uh, Daisy, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Roy family. Appreciate that very, very much. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Iberia 116, departing out of Algier. You're in Northern Africa. Headed for Barcelona on Vatim Network. We are also on the USA East server and all players on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look at that nice little easy jet over there. How long will this flight be? It'll be 55 minutes. Go ahead and release the parking brake. Wait, does my parking brake button work? Okay, there it is. The other one. And while we're pushing back, we'll go ahead and get the engine started. Which honestly is a bummer because this is one of the things I was really looking forward to because this, these two switches on the throttle don't actually work right now um, until the next patch is not going to work, which should, again should be coming up in the next week or so. So I'm going to have to still hit the button. <laughs> oh, it sucks. It's okay. It's okay. So what happens when you get things early. Sometimes they're not working yet. Okay, so where's the thing I'm looking for? Nope, that's not it. Where the heck does Sim Toolkit Pro go? Uh, let's push back. Let's do nose to the... Uh, we're in Africa right now. This is considered Africa. Let's go nose. We'll do, we'll do nose to the left. That'll be steer to the right. No, no, no. Other way. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, did I turn the beacons on? Beacons are on. APU is running. Uh, we are ready to start her up. And to do that, pretty simple. We're just going to hit our crank switch. I'm going to bring you guys over to my other camera. Because we can partially start it up with the throttle while we're pushing back. So go ahead and turn it to ignition start. And then usually you pop this, but again, it's not yet working in Microsoft Flight in there. So we'll hit it here. But I'm telling you, it's so. <laughs> when we did it in X Plane, it was so freaking just. I don't know. I was like, oh, it was just so cool being able to just hop, pop the switch on in real life and, and it works. I love it so much. All right, pushback has been stopped. We'll also set the park and brake, which is that button there. And I'm going to have to go and check and make sure that my gear button is working because I don't know that it's working. All right, we're firing up. Yeah, I've heard of the pushback mod. I still have yet to download it, so I probably need to, but I don't know. It just didn't seem much different than what I'm already doing. Like, it's still a massive window that comes on my on my screen that I have to click, so and I just don't want to... I would rather just it just do it, so I'm kind of waiting for something better, but I, I might try it. I might try it. Uh, do you know when I turn off multiplayer and traffic, I still see AI planes? Uh, I think you need to go into your actual graphic settings or somewhere. There's an option to turn off uh, e like um, airport traffic and stuff like that. Something like that. All right, let's go and start engine number one. DJ Malfoofy, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome back, man. Good to see you. Uh, you can't see me. I'm on the USA server East. USA ser East server, whatever they call it. Right now, left engine is firing up. Nathaniel Jack. What up, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome back. Yeah, I believe, yeah, it is in your traffic settings and your, I think your graphic or wherever it is in, in your actual settings, not like in the world map view. All right, we're ready to go now. Ah, you know something else? I haven't mapped at the flap button. I need a flap key. Let's go back inside. Um, I'm, I'm still kind of adjusting to this new throttle. So I'm actually going to go over to, um, give me a second, I'm going to pause, go to, go to controls. And since, um, before my old set about using the Thrustmaster A10 Warthog, um, and in that one I had a f actually a, a few more buttons on that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to map like my flaps to my, um, my, my joystick instead. I might do the same. You know Let's go over here and make sure we actually have a gear, a gear thing mapped. So you can see here on the right side of your screen, all the keys. So it has about... 15 button assignments um, that you can do and like, like I said right now as of today um, it's they're, they're still being worked out uh, with between my Thrustmaster and Microsoft Flight Simulator that most of those do actually work though on um, X-Plane and P3D already all right let's go look for gear I want to make sure my gear is working I think yeah toggle landing gear button six which is this one over here cool and then uh two right now is going to be the what's it called shoot i can't remember this. reverse reverse and then on the other side number one on the left side my thumb is going to be the toga button uh, but what i want now is go over to my joystick for yeah airbus joystick and i'm going to get me a landing switch i don't think there's a lot of things that i have not mapped yet 
Let me see if there's one for flaps already. If not, then we'll make one. Oh, see, yeah, decrease flaps, extend flaps, increase flaps. Let's do it. I'll do a seven and eight will be flaps. Yeah, that works. So uh, increase flaps, that means more flaps, right? So do decre decrease will be seven, hit, oh no. Start scanning, boom, validate. And then D, wait, did it do it? No, it didn't do it. Validate. It's already being used, but what, what did it say it was being used by? <laughs> uh, toggle parking brake. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then this one for increase flap will be this. Let's have to remap a few of these buttons to make sure they're good. We'll validate that. We'll go and look for that parking brake key. Let's go by input. Let's see if I have anything by this. No, nothing on that. There it is. Uh, decrease flaps, toggle parking brakes. Go ahead and clear that. And I noticed in Microsoft Flight Simulator for anything, not just Thrustmaster, but for some reason it makes me clear them out twice, which makes no sense in my opinion. I'm going to set my parking brake to this just in case I need to use my left hand to do the parking brake. Apply that. Save it. Go back. And we're done. We're good. Well, to make sure I had those essentials. All right, you guys, we're ready to go. So, uh, let's see, uh, the, the, the flaps, flaps come down, do flaps one, go ahead and do that, move that back, it will shut the APU off now the engines are running, and then we'll get the taxi lights, simple sounds are already on, one thing I did forget that I was going to use, but I'm going to go ahead and just not use it today, was uh, pack X, but we're not going to worry about that, it's not necessary, alright, park brake released, let go. I don't think it did. We can check. Yeah, it didn't clear. It didn't clear my parking brake on my throttle, so we're good. So you can see here, this is kind of like how I usually do my setup. So you can see over here on, on the camera, I have my PlayStation controller. So usually this is the way I, I do it. No, it doesn't matter what throttle I'm using. I always have my, my controller here on my lap. <laughs> and um, and this is how I control my camera views, whether it be inside or outside, like my drone camera, stuff like that. So yeah. So you'll notice um, for me to actually go idle, I have to pull the reverser detent and then pull it back. I think we're, are we on track to actually be on the runway? Yeah, the runway is going to be off our right, runway 27. So let's go ahead and actually let's go make sure that uh, V Pilot is using the A320 uh, push to talk and not the honeycomb one that I was using before. Yeah, okay, it's working. Cool. Cancel. Alright, so Algar traffic, uh, Iberia 116, taking off runway 27, departing to the north. I, uh, Algar traffic. Alright, guys, let's get it. Auto brakes to max. Pulls our armed flaps are set for takeoff. We're squawking. Hold on. We're not squawking. Squawking Charlie. You know what? I wasn't even on the right frequency when I did that call. We need to be on 122.8. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, no wonder nobody probably heard me. There we go. Switching it over. I'll do it twice. And now we're good to go. Boom, shaka lock. I got the weather radar working and everything. All right, let's get it. All right, runway 27 is right there off our right side. Algaio traffic, Iberia 116, taking off runway 27 to part into the north. Uh, Algaio traffic. Pilot Ray, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, how do I set up my joystick to the game? Uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what you're asking, but there is a joystick configuration page. You can change all your controls. Uh, Infinite Leong, I do believe so. Yes, there's a way to adjust the throw. Oh, apparently runway 27 is closed. Oh, we're using it today. Uh, there's a way to adjust, or I'm sorry, uh, change so that you don't have to use the, the reverser or the little reverser mechanism. There is a way to do that. All right, guys, we're rolling. You ready? Let's get it. This one here, click. 
and Toga. One twenty. V one. Rotate. Oh, she sounds nice. Oh, she's nice and light today. Positive climb. Let's see if my gear works. Gear up. Yep, it works. I'm actually going to make a left turn on the way out of here. We took off opposite of what our flight plan was expecting, so we'll fly up by hand. Yes, joystick is what I'm using for views. And I'm using my PS4 controller for that. Let's go ahead and make a left turn here. Oh, man, it's nice out here, ain't it? I'll tell you, man, coming from x plane back to Microsoft, I'm just amazed about the scenery again. All right, so now we're going to go back to lever climb. So you can see my hand here. Let's see, it should be um, two clicks back. So let's see. One click, two click. Now, in Microsoft, it actually detected it at the first click. Because I think the second click is supposed to be flex. But... Pretty much, yeah, Microsoft Microsoft has never really done that, right? It doesn't matter what throttle you're using, um, but it's all good. So now we're in actual climb on our throttle, and it's in climb now in Microsoft Flight Center there as well. Uh, does it work with Xbox? Um, we do not have information on that right now. Goodbye, Algar. But thank you so much. I can't remember who it was. Um, for the, I think it was on Instagram, somebody requested, a lot of you guys were requesting me to do more flights around Africa, so, um, here you go. Like the northernmost part of Africa. We'll be stopping in Spain, we'll be going through three countries today. So not three countries, well, this, this technically is a country, I'm not sure what country this is. Is the country called Algar? What's the name of the country out here? Nice, right, bring some flaps up. Yeah, this, I don't really like, oh, that's down. There we go. I mean, let me look at the map and find out what country we took off out of. I personally don't know. But I think it's I think the country is Algar. I'm not sure. Yes, I did, Dougal. I got that bad boy. <laughs> yes, sir. What are the, all the little buttons on the thrust? May you tell me. Oh, you're talking about this one right here, the red one. Most likely. There's only two of them. There's a red one on this side and a red one on the other side. I believe in real life they are for toga left throttle and toga right throttle. Uh, I have it mapped differently. For me, I'm using this right one for uh, toggle reverse thrust, and then uh, which is a workaround to get the reverse thrust to work. Look at these clouds, man. Uh, and then on the left side, I have it set for uh, just full toga completely. So, but you can set something else if you would like to. Again, it's kind of you know whatever your own experience is. If you want to be realistic as possible, then set it to what the real life thing matches to. Algeria, thank you very much, Mister Music for also Algier, Algeria. Here we are. No, no problem, man. That's what that's what I'm here for, man. Ask ask away. Ask as many questions as you as you want. All right, we need to change our altitude. Uh, we'll be cruising at 36,000. I didn't mention that. But 36,000 is our cruise level for today, so we can climb straight to it. Still have, uh, still flying it by hand. Again, I have the TCA Airbus side stick as well on my left hand. You can kind of see it in the background in the camera. I don't have it focused on there, but as I'm using my left hand today, still flying lefty. No problem, Juno. I'll see you later, man. Very actually, I mean, it's, it's a little bit partly cloudy, but it's not much turbulence going on. Mal Fufi, you're from Algeria, bro. That's amazing. That's cool. I'm glad to kind of finally be flying out in your neck of the woods, bro. See, so, yeah, so I'm flying it by hand, but auto throttle is in control of the actual throttle, so we really nothing else we need to do here. I'm just kind of showing you guys what it is. No, you're good, Jay Aviator. You're good, man. 
Uh, do I recommend the officer pack? Uh, yeah, if you're an Airbus fan, for sure. And, I mean, remember, you can also use it, I mean, to fly anything else. Like, if you don't have... Honestly, honestly, let me say this, because, again, I'm still kind of taking it in. I'm working on, on, on getting all my thoughts together on how I feel about it as far as a review. Um, but, honestly, um, I don't think it's a, it's, it's a bad deal for the officer pack, which is the... Uh, I believe the the joystick and the throttle together. Cause when I got my first throttle and jo and my first throttle and joystick set, it was the T sixteen thousand M set, which was you know the old sixteen thousand, the orange one with the old throttle. I do believe this throttle was better. It has less click regions though. I'll, I'll warn you about that. It's less buttons that you can map as far as like you know clicking things uh, on here than the uh, the, the sixteen thousand uh, throttle. So there's the downside of that but this is way smoother uh, i know that you can actually adjust the tension on the other um throttle as well but we'll see i mean this is brand new we'll see how long this lasts it feels like if you really um you know if you're really aggressive with it like if you fly fighter jets with it or something like that and you're just kind of like freaking punching the throttle all over and over and over um i feel like it might wear out a bit faster depending on how aggressive you are with it but it's kind of like that with any other hardware device that you have if you're aggressive with it it's gonna not last as long but it feels pretty decent quality it's a, it's smaller like i say it's smaller than i expected so right around exactly what i expected as far as size uh, for me personally it is like the perfect size and again you have to remember there's two more elements that are coming forward there's the uh, speed brake and flap lever that's gonna come that's gonna associate exactly with it and there's the uh the uh, parking brake and a couple other things that make it really cool so i'm looking forward to getting the whole set because i think once you get the whole set, it'll probably be probably be about the size of like the honeycomb throttle, um, the new one that's coming out. About the same size. Once you add the the entire throttle set together, it'll probably be around that size. But the just the throttle piece itself is, as I showed you guys before, it's pretty thin. I mean, you can look at my iPhone 10 here and see the difference there of how big it is. So it's not it's not super large. It's really good if you have a small condensed setup and you don't want anything too large. Um, it sits my desk very nicely. It has little mounting points on the bottom if you want to mount it onto your, you know, some le luxurious <laughs> setup that you have. I don't have anything like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wanted to really go all out, it has all the things you need to make a nice uh, cockpit for an Airbus, something like that. But yes, I would actually recommend the set. Um, but then remember, you could also just get the joystick and then match that with any other throttle that you want to use, you know, from whatever brand you want to use it with. And the same other way around. You can use a throttle and then buy a different yoke or joystick from somewhere else. So it's up to you uh, what works best for you. Uh, I would just compare the prices. I know right now, from what I was looking at before the stream today, uh, the throttle right now is sold out everywhere I could find. Um, Pre-orders are, are starting to ship out, so some people are getting them. Some people said that their Amazon orders are being um, the shipping date was canceled and they have to they're basically delayed. Um, so it's just kind of be patient, man. It's coming, it's coming soon. Everybody is going to get their hands on it. Um, probably, I mean, I, I'm not going to say an exact date, but I mean, you should have it before the end of the year by Christmas time, something like that. But I mean, I can't imagine how difficult it is to supply these with there's being such a high demand of it with Microsoft Flight Simulator coming out. And everything else. David Akal, welcome to stream, man. Just dropping in. How do you like it? I like it pretty cool so far, man. It has a few a few uh, hiccups and, and whatnot here and there. But again, like I was telling people earlier, uh, it's still basically in its early stages. I suppose we're expecting to get some type of patch. A firmware update or something like that um, to not only Microsoft but to uh, the actual physical hardware itself as well. So maybe, um, I don't know, maybe like next week whenever Microsoft gets their patch, maybe we'll see something. Possibly. But I think I was able to find the joystick somewhere on sale, but I was not able to find the throttle. Uh, see, Simwings Group Flight, Saturday, November 7th, 1900 Zulu. Microsoft Flight Simulator around Cape Verde Islands. Registration is now live on the website. That sounds a dope, Google. Check it out. Yeah, I'm, uh, if, I, if I'm available on the 7th, I'll see if I can come through, man. Uh, and I think the rest of you guys, if you are watching, definitely check out Simwings. Matter of fact, you can type in exclamation mark Simwings if you want to learn more about it or support. To support that, I really love what those guys are doing for the community. Helping provide people with... Uh, with their dream computers so they can flight sim to the best ability. So 
I think it's pretty amazing what they're doing. But type in exclamation mark sim wings. Matter of fact, I'll do it right now. Boom, sim wings, and that gives you their website. It should work. Yeah, it works. Cool. <laughs> I set set that up like two weeks ago. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and go on autopilot. Flaps are fully up. Yep, they are. We're kind of like really slow right now. Really slow, actually. So the nose should drop down for us, and uh, and get us on our way. Yep, that looks a bit better. We're at thirteen thousand feet right now. Let's go ahead and turn off the land lights. Oh, look at that easy jet right there. And you know what? We never turn the land lights on. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you, Luco Palmero, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family, man. Good to see you. All right, so we'll turn the land lights off now again because they were not on before. Nice. All right, that looks good. Strobes are on, beacon on, wing is off, logo light on. Yep, that's good to go. Throttle's not on climb. Uh, wait. Uh oh, let me see. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's on climb. Yep, ex yeah, it's true, Mustafa, for sure. It's true, man. Yeah, it's true. So hopefully, you know, Microsoft can figure that out. Yeah, so right now it's just trying to, it's trying to, oh, it's only going 60. I feel like it should be going faster than that. Or 60%. Cause right now we're level at 13,000. It's basically leveling off so that it can do that. Let's, let's see, let's, let's take a, let's kind of mess with this throttle a little bit to see if we're missing there it is, there's throttle climb. So we were in throttle lever, so there's two settings. We are, okay, so it doesn't match. All right, that's something that we're learning now. And that's uh, probably Barcelona Center, actually, let's talk to him. So there's manual toga, throttle MCT, throttle climb. There it is. Yeah, I knew something wasn't right. So, so check this out. I was going to talk this out to you guys so you guys understand. Again, some of these things may change in the next week or so whenever they patch it. But, uh, Pretty much, yeah, if I go back this far, pretty much the only range it gives me, which is really weird. That's really weird. It doesn't detect anything as far as, like, here, as far as the speed notches are concerned until you're right at flex. So I'm physically right now at toga. I can pull it back a little bit, right? I'm right now between toga and I'm between flex. I pull it back a little bit between uh, off of toga. It goes into MCT, throttle MCT. Pull it back a little bit more. Again, I'm still not to flex yet. Throttle climb. I go a little bit more. Throttle lever. Now, now I am at uh, I'm at flex. I'm at the actual flex notch on the throttle itself. So I'm push back forward again to get it back in the climb. Again, it's just like a small little range between flex, the flex notch and the toga notch and that's pretty much seems like you got to find a sweet spot in between which is kind of very similar to what you do in a, a regular throttle that doesn't have the notches now again i know that this works in x-plane because we tried it yesterday the notches all work perfectly so again microsoft is just something to do with with microsoft itself so for now that's the workaround but i'm learning it. i'm glad i'm learning it because i sure would have been taking I, we, we were going slow man I was like why are we creeping right now anyways let's go ahead and talk to uh, the controller who's been p pinging us before they get upset. Because I think we are about to enter into their airspace. And I'll show you guys here on Sim Toolkit. See here, this is the uh, world map. And that blue, big old blue highlighted area is a VAT Sim controlled area. LECB uh, control 132.35. One, three, two, three, five. Uh, Mount Fufi, we did take off from DAG. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're asking. 
That's exactly where we flew from. Let's see if we hear anything. Is that the right one? One, three, two, three, five. Hero wings eight eight three seven identified. Spec yep. ILS Zulu runway two four left. Lunik to Papa arrival. Descent to five thousand. All right, guys. Let's see if I can understand these accents. Two zero. <laughs> Are we expecting uh, the Zulu approach uh, runway two four? Oh my left. god, this is gorgeous. I love this livery. I freaking love Descending this livery. Five thousand feet. One zero two zero. Hero wings six eight three seven. After. Uh, uh, Shamrock 738, uh, welcome to Palma, taxi via Link, Juliet, Inner, stand of your choice. Taxi via Link, uh, Juliet, Inner, and stand of choice um, for Shamrock 738. <laughs> Kasim Jamil, thank you very much, my friend, for uh, just found the channel and you've been loving the video. Thank you, man. I'm glad you're loving the content, bro. I appreciate it. Can I, can I, can I say hola when I come in? Should I say hola? The Toga notch and flex notch should be very close to each other. Uh, Alf, Alfie one is, uh, three gaming. Sorry, um, I I got this one sent from Thrustmaster, so I did not pay for it. But um, online, it shows that this throttle is ninety nine ninety nine USD. I'm not sure how much that is in your local currency. Let's go ahead and check in. Hola, Iberia one one six is climbing to three six zero at one eight zero. Do this, uh, he's talking. <laughs> why are we not? Why are we not climbing though? That's my question. Why is my plane just chilling? Is that an altitude restriction here? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh. Hey, hey! Thank you, Jack. My class just had an evacuation. I am online, though, huh? <laughs> Evacuation from what, man? Jeez. Let me see. He's pinging me again. I know, bro. I know, I know. Please contact me. I'm here. I'm with you. Uh, hola. Iberia 116 crossing SATA uh, at flight level 170. Iberia 116, let's walk 6213. 6213, Iberia 116. Where's transmitting? Area 116, identify. Continue climb to fly level 340. Climbing at 340, Area 116. Alright, 340, not 36. Nice, we got us some, uh, some Spanish traffic out here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Speaking of Spanish, maybe I should, maybe I should practice some Spanish. <laughs> Say hola, como estas? Oh, it's Spain though. In Spain, do they speak Spanish or do they speak Portuguese? I think it's a mixture. I think they speak. I think it speaks both. Some areas speak Spanish. Some areas speak Portuguese. Either way, hola it means the same thing. <laughs> Thank you, Cyber Dots, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Great to see you. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. I wonder how often like somebody subscribes who's not even watching. They just happen to subscribe watching a completely different video. And it's like, you know, hits a sub and I give them a shout out. They'll never know I shout them out. But thank you again, Jackson, for that super chat donation, man. I appreciate that, bro. These accents are amazing. I love it. This is what I like about flying in other countries sometimes. You get to hear all the different accents. I always enjoy that part. Sometimes it's a challenge to keep up and understand what the heck they're saying. Um, but Spanish, I, I can sometimes keep up. Sometimes. Sometimes. But so far, so good, man. Uh, do I still have that on the screen? I do. But you can see here on Sim Toolkit Pro, uh, Pulse with the donation. What up, man? Blue appreciate what you do. Keep up the content. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate what you do. Thanks for coming and keep showing up. <laughs> Thank you, man, very much. 
does Spain speak Spanish? I, I, yeah, is that a stupid question? I mean, but you know, there's people in Spain who speak English and people in Spain who speak Dutch and all kind of languages. I mean, come on, not everybody in Spain speaks Spanish. Not everybody in the freaking U.S. speaks English. You know, not everybody in England speaks English. Let's be honest. <laughs> Especially to us in the U.S., it's a whole different type of English. I'm like, what the heck did you say? What? Huh? <laughs> Uh, you've been to Portugal and a woman told you that Portuguese is a bit softer while the Spanish have a deeper accent. Huh, interesting. Interesting. I like both. I like Spanish accents and I like Portuguese accents. I think they're both very interesting and attractive. Mano, blog, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Royal family. Great to see you. Welcome aboard. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the flight. Uh, where the heck are we going? Look at this. <laughs> so we're supposed to be going that way. I thought over Ibiza and our plane got us going over here to Palma de Mallorca which I don't know if has a long way or not but it might be a Microsoft or hopefully I filed whatever my plane is flying so enough if I didn't file it then uh, ATC can play where are you going cuz where are you going like don't divide <laughs> oh man claro so anyways uh Let's take a look at this flight plan because this is not what I thought I filed. Uh, here we go, plan. And we want to skip through here a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like it has us going that way. Interessante. So it's going to have us go up here and then make a left over there, which I would rather do this way over Ibiza. I'd rather do that. So we'll see. If he yells at us, I'm going to be like, hey, so uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. He's like, okay, I got you. I got you. I understand. I understand. Thank you, Thor Thorgrim Harrison. Thank you very much for that subscription. Welcome to Blu-ray Family, man. Great to see you. Hopefully, how you guys doing, man? How's the week been going? How is it going, man? I'm, uh, again, just super thankful to be out here and be able to stream and fly with you guys thank you guys who are flying with us loving this a320 i'm <laughs> it's so funny yesterday uh when the throttle came in in the middle of the stream i was super surprised super surprised and excited right and uh we were flying in the zebo 737 and i was like you know what we're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna do a curveball we're gonna do a, an audible and we're gonna jump in the tolls a321 and do a test flight in that and I got into the cockpit, and I was just like, oh, man, I don't miss it. I don't know. I, I just didn't really, I don't know, I just didn't really feel at home anymore in that, in that Tolis cockpit. Nothing against Tolis. I love their products. I've always loved them. I think they're great. Um, just when it comes to the graphic-wise, uh, compared to how I, I've been flying a 320 Neo, I just like how 320 Neo looks visually. Um, and also the engines were super tiny on the th on 21. <laughs> super tiny. If I land under 100 feet per minute, you'll give me 20 bucks. Uh, you might lose 20 bucks today. <laughs> the Spanish are going to call us stupid. What have you done? I was just kidding. It's just kidding. It's true, though. I mean, yes, Spanish, in Spain they speak Spanish. Yes, that is obvious. But they also speak other languages. That's what I was basically trying to get to. No, we are not going to Ibiza. I was going to fly over Ibiza, but not anymore. Now we're over the water. Which, look at that water. Look at that water. Iberia Air. Uh, what program is giving me the map? Sim Toolkit Pro, SK. Sim Toolkit Pro. It is free. It is free, free. Free, 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 free. I think I might. I don't think I have a thing for that. Let me see. Sim I don't think I do. No, I don't have it. I thought I had a link for it, but I don't have a link for it. But it's free. Search it up. Try it out. Give it a try. There's also other uh, variants. You could use like Project Fly. It also works very well. Same kind of concept. And we are still not leveled off at 34,000 feet, surprisingly. We're about to. Did I not say that? Say that right, Mix Chiggity? Don't, don't deva. <laughs> Hello from Costa Rica. Pura Vida, man. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, bro. Great to see you, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, 
I know there's a few developers out there who do things for Infinite Flight, like Live Flight Map, which is nice and all, but uh, it'd be really nice to be able to bring Infinite Flight over to the rest of the sim community, and not just the mobile sim. So that'd be really dope if somebody could make find a way to make Sim Tokyo Pro work for Infinite Flight. That'd be amazing. Uh, Jake, right now you're flying uh, from Dubai to Heathrow in a 78710. Very nice, man. Have a good flight, bro. What are you going to do like for the in-route portion of that? That's a pretty, uh, what's, what's that, like a 10-hour flight, something like that? And you're flying upwind, I think, too. So it's a pretty decent length flight. Yes, you're right, the loading. Simto Kipro only works for P3D, FSX, X.11, Microsoft Flight Center. I was just saying, it'd be nice if they were it was able to add infinite flight. That'd be pretty cool. I am leveling. We should be leveling off here soon. Yeah, we're about to level off now at 340. We probably are going to still have that problem that we had before where our nose stays in the air. Uh, somebody did send me a message saying that there was a way he found to fix it. And it was to put a bit more weight, I think, in the front. Basically change the weight and balance of the plane. I have not tested that yet. Um, but, I mean, we could try it. We'll be turning left here in just a little bit. Oh, okay. Why are we not stopping? Oh, no. Yeah, it didn't... I don't know. For some reason, it didn't realize that I wanted to stop at 34,000. Make sure we're still connected. We are... It's kind of quiet out here in Spain. Right, it should be descending us now. Yeah, we're throttle idle, so it's gonna bring us back down. We're 800 feet too high. It'll bring us that back down. I also need to. I also need to set up um, some custom camera views. Yeah, look at that. So maybe the fire will fix that. Uh, Bahamian Pilot, what's the stream, man? No, I did not get my throttle from the Microsoft Store. Uh, I got mine directly from the Thrustmaster. But I did see that it's, uh, you could have bought it in the Microsoft Store, but it's currently sold out. Yes, yes, I heard. I heard Infinite Flight said that uh, the next update is uh, in review. Um, so basically, it means it can come out at any time. It can come out today, tomorrow, next week. <laughs> so, pretty excited for you guys. Yeah, Infinite Flight's not compatible with Infinite Sim either. That would be interesting. I wonder if, if that would be possible and how would that work. They should, I think Infinite Flight developers should talk. They should talk. They should definitely talk to to Vats and, and, and find a way to work together. So I think that it would be extremely beneficial to, to find a way to make that work. It would definitely make yeah, Infinite Flight way more credible. Connect. Thank you very much, bye. Goodbye. Way more credible. Am I Lewis Hamilton? Yes. Of course. What kind of what kind of question is that? Yeah, Tranquil Breeze. Yeah, there's been some delays in delivery of all of the Thrustmaster products and pretty much in, in really all flight gear in general. There's been delays, so. Um, yes, a lot of people are experiencing they got a ship date or a promised date to be shipped and it didn't get shipped, so uh, just be patient. It'll get to you soon. It will come. Have I seen Costa Rica Freeware Airport? Which one? So Costa Rica is a lot of places you could make a freeware airport in Costa Rica. All right, it's like we've uh, descended, descended back down 34,000. And uh, yeah, that nose yeah, problem is still going on. Our nose is still up like eight degrees, which is just kind of annoying. <laughs> it's it's kind of like if you put a picture up in the background, it's like slightly crooked. That's kind of how I feel about the plane chilling at you know eight degrees of pitch when it shouldn't be. That's that's how annoying it is. Siberia 116, Barcelona will close in 10 minutes. Please continue in Unicorn, 122 decimal line, bye bye. 22.8, thank you, goodbye. Ciao.
<laughs> I should have said uh, adios. That's okay. Uh, Code Master, seventy-five percent off weekend on Steam, bro. You get it if you don't have Formula One twenty twenty, freaking get it. That game is amazing. As as well as Dirt two point oh or any of the Dirt series games, the rally racing games was a lot of fun too. So I would definitely recommend getting those if they're on if they're on sale on Steam. M Rock. So this is an M Rock freeware that came to Microsoft Flight Simulator, or are you talking about the M Rock freeware on X Plane? I know there's one on X Plane, and I do have that one, and it is very well done. All right, we're switching back over to two two point eight Unicom. Brian Knight, what's up, man? Been a while. Yes, it has, bro. Welcome back. Good to see you, bro. Hopefully, you're staying, staying safe, too, man. Yes, man, trying to keep the positive vibes going, you know what I'm saying? All right, so right now, we are flying over Palma de Mallorca. And I'm going to pull that up here on the Miz app. Oop, not, not that map. <laughs> that is a map. Huh, that map actually works. Interesting. I've actually not used that map. There's a map for you, not the one I wanted. That, that, that is a map. Let's get this map, it's the one I want. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, and I'll bring the chat back too. There you go. All right, yeah. So over Palma de Mallorca, let's go ahead and turn this off control. And we'll be making a left turn over to Hither, probably right before the top of the scent marker. So you can see this is basically the long way. Uh, so I'll say this though, I noticed, if you're flying Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you import a flight plan, which is what I did, I imported a flight plan and from Simbrief, right? Uh, and this is what I imported, this is exactly what I imported, this flight plan. So I'm really surprised that ATC did not say anything about me diverting from my flight plan, because I basically just did that, you know what I mean? Um, so what happens is, if you're in the world map and you load a saved flight plan file, you got me. There's actually, that's the airport right there. Palma de Mallorca Airport, I think. No, I'm not sure what airport that is, but I think it is. If you uh, load a save, what happens is it's, it loads you, it wants to load you on the runway of the departure airport. Now, a lot of us don't want that. Uh, what you end up doing is you end up choosing a gate to load in at, and what it does is it deletes your departure, and it actually reverts your entire flight plan to the high altitude flight plan or a similar flight plan that Microsoft generates. It's no longer using your Simbri flight plan. I've learned that, uh, especially flying and multiplayer that is doing that. So to fix that, there's no, I haven't found a way to fix it. I don't even know if they know it's a bug. I probably need to, probably need to post it or something uh, in Zendex. Look at that, man, that's so good. Um, and so the, my only workaround for that is really just to basically manually put it in the, in the FMS. Finally, Aviation 360, you got your Microsoft Flight Simulator fixed. About time, man. You, you've you been out of commission for a good two months. Turns out it was your liveries that you made. Oh, man. Can I explain how custom ATC works? So right now, we are using that some ATC. We're not using the built-in Microsoft Flight Simulator ATC. Um, uh, and basically, how uh, a vague way of how it works is I'm a real person, right? Yeah, I look like a real person. Uh, maybe a robot, you never know. A lot of times those little tests say I'm a robot, but I'm not a robot. Uh, and then you have another ATC controller sitting at their computer, at their home, uh, with a you know ATC client that they use, and they're talking on the radio to whoever on different frequencies. So right now we are on frequency 122.8. Uh, the last controller we were just talking to was on frequency 132.35. Um, whenever you switch frequencies, it goes to that specific area whichever um i don't know this is it's just real i don't know i guess the easy way to say it is just to talk to a real person <laughs> this is how atc works in real life this is how they do it the only difference between this and real life is the fact that some some of the some of the frequencies are not the real life frequencies and then it's not really the exact same airspaces oh that's a lie it's not exactly so <laughs> I'm, having, I'm doing horrible somebody help me out i'm doing horrible explaining this i know i know what it is I was having a hard time explaining it, like for somebody who knows nothing about it. Um, I'm trying to just, let me get my words together. You're just talking to a real person. That's it. A real person is an air, air traffic controller on your computer. You talk to them, they tell you what to do, you do what they say to do. That's it. That's all I can say. Uh, you're going to make a blue air livery for the premium deluxe aircraft and the Mooney. Nice. I'm looking forward to that, man. 
Uh, don't you think that the route to Dubai to Heathrow is overrated? You search it on YouTube, find a million videos. I wouldn't call it overrated. There's a reason why so many people do it. Uh, I don't think the flight's overrated. I would say overflown, yes, um, but not overrated. I wouldn't say it's overrated. It's a great flight. It's a beautiful flight. You fly from Dubai to Heathrow. I mean, Dubai is amazing by itself, uh, and then you get to see so much beautiful sights coming out of Dubai, flying in route. Like, it's just, it's just so much to look at. I would say, like, it's a shame that so many people would do a flight from Dubai to Heathrow overnight and not actually get to experience and see the scenery that's in between, right? I would say, if you're just doing Dubai to Heathrow, those two are very over... I don't say overrated, but overflown airports in general. What's, uh, the best part about that flight is what's in between. The in route portion of that, even though, yes, you're just cruising, you're not doing anything, but the sights are so nice between Hold Dubai on, and Heathrow. So, uh, that's my thoughts on that. Personally, I've done the opposite. I've done Heathrow. I've done, uh, no, was it Amsterdam? I think yeah, we did Amsterdam to uh, Dubai. We haven't done Heathrow. But yeah, if I were to do a flight like that, I usually try to mix it up, do something a little bit different than what other people are doing. That's just me, though. Thank you. Uh, who is that? Iman790 for the subscription. Welcome to Blurry Family, man. Good to see you. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> you thought it was a robot I was talking to. Okay, guys, no, 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 it's not a robot. Not a robot. Like a guy just talked right now on Unicom. That's not a robot. Nobody I'm talking to is a robot. Every time you go to Heathrow, everything goes wrong. I'm not surprised. How does it feel to be back in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Uh, nice, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really, really enjoyed yesterday's flight in X-Plane. Like, way more than I expected. Um, I think, though, that this is probably going to be a more regular thing for me. Jumping between. I've, all, I've never really been a fan of having two simulators because I just... And they, they take up so much space, they take up so much processing power, you know, I'd rather just have one sim that I can depend on, um, which really, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm probably still going to majority do flights in that Microsoft, but uh, we'll still be hopping X-Plane, mostly to fly, you know, some of the, the third-party payware planes that I have, like this, or like the Zebo, or maybe do a 767 or a 787, or the A350, stuff like that, you know, because we can do that in X-Plane. Our top of descent is coming up soon, in just about 20 miles. Actually, it's coming up really, 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 really soon. I'm gonna lower my altitude down to, let's find out what to expect, actually. Let's see, oh, that's still up there. I thought I took that down, my bad. You guys gotta remind me when I just leave that map up there, because I don't mean to leave it up there that long. I thought I took it down like 10 minutes ago. All right, never grab, never, never, never. Oh, we didn't even load that part of our flight yet, did we? Okay, we'll do it now. All right, so Barcelona. Um, I know Sinner went offline. I'm not sure if Barcelona is online. We'll have to see. So taxi chart, we'll get that ready. Should be this one. Yep. And then runway two five right is what we're expecting. We're doing the March one Zulu. Gonna be on the star. Just gotta find it. It is Marto One Zulu. We have that's the one. And right now we're outside the aircraft charts bound, so that's okay. Uh, unless we get something different from ATC, we'll be landing on runway two five. Right. Was it right? Yeah, two five right. And we'll just do uh, ILS. Let's we'll see what the difference. Zulu. Here's Zulu. Here's Yankee, and here's just the localizer. So we'll just do. They're very similar. But we'll do Zulu because it's first. That's crazy. I didn't realize that Fly Emirates is only using 777s. Like, they're not even using any smaller planes, even for shorter routes. That's that's crazy. That's I mean, pretty cool. I love the 777. 
I love that plane. Okay, so uh, Marta, 24,000. Which we should be coming up here soon. Let's see. Yeah, here's Marta, and it actually shows it. 24,000 at or below 24,000 at Marta. And uh, let's just make sure. I don't know that it's going to descend because that's 10,000 feet we need to do in about 30 miles. Let's go ahead and hit engage managed. Just to make sure that it's actually doing what it needs to be doing. Now, do I get bored when flying? Um, usually I occupy myself with something when I'm flying. Like, on my own time, if I do a flight, I usually already plan to be doing something else while I'm flying. Like, I rarely by myself or come to a flight and, like, just sit here. Uh, unless I'm, like, hanging out or, like, talking on, on chat with some friends or something like that. Or if I have a lot of ATC, um, that keeps me busy. But for usually... Uh, when I'm flying, I have something else I'm doing. I'm like, you know, watching the YouTube videos, working on my own YouTube videos. Um, I don't know. I, I usually occupy myself with something whenever I'm flying. I, I pretty much never just fly and, and sit here and just fly. <laughs> okay, so oh, here we are. Looking for our restrictions to come back up. Yeah, I only see that one altitude restriction, which is 24,000 feet. I'm trying to see if there's any other ones. It doesn't seem to be. Let's just set it to 8,000. Uh, or what? Yeah, let's do 8,000 8, for now. It will change as we descend. We'll see. Yesterday, the Zebo 737 really showed off on that VNAV. Did a really good job on the VNAV. So let's see how Microsoft does it. Like, not, I mean, I'm not going to be surprised how it does it. I know how it does it, but just. Just to kind of compare again. Alright, so our speed's coming down and we should be descending. Very nice. TJ Cronin, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. He says, yes, definitely get it. Very worth it if you have a joystick or something that makes the experience better. What are you uh, referring to? Looks like you're answering somebody else's question. Uh, would you recommend Microsoft Flight Center 2020? If you, if so, you're getting it on Friday. Today is Friday. What, where are you? Hawaii? Anthony Plays, we're headed to Barcelona for our first stop. Took off out of uh, Algeria. Algier, Algeria. And our last stop today will be Marseille. Marseille, France. Today we're gonna to speak a little bit. Today we're gonna to speak a little African. We're gonna speak a little Spanish. I know African's not how you say it. Uh, and then we're gonna speak a little French. <laughs> uh, but yes, I would actually, to answer your question, Mr. Blink two forty two, I would recommend Microsoft Flight Simulator for sure. Um, but then when you get into it, re be you know, be reminded that uh, it is still a work in progress. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So you have a whole setup on X-Plane. Um, so yeah, you'd be good to go, man. Yeah. Uh, but don't delete X-Plane. I'll tell you that. Don't delete X-Plane. If you have space, um, go ahead and get Microsoft Flight Simulator. And um, get whatever version works out for you. And um, yeah, I would recommend it for sure. But again, remember, it's a work in progress. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen all the bugs and complaints about it. There's a lot of people just kind of hammering it, saying how horrible it is. But the truth is... It's not advertised as a, as, a, as a work in progress. It's not advertised as an early access. It's not advertised as beta, but that is exactly what it is. It's a beta early access game right now. So take, if, you go, if you fly with that mindset, you will not be disappointed. Well, you might be disappointed, but you, you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it more. <laughs> Have I figured out how to make scenery yet? I, uh, a little bit, yes. Um, it just gotta take. It just kind of takes me doing it, you know, learning by doing, and I just haven't had time. I, I I was learning how to do it for a little while, and there's a few things in it that just really was were annoying uh, when it comes to scenery develop development, and um, I just kind of put it down for a while to focus on some other things. I I agree, Captain Cross Country. Imagine. If Microsoft Flight Simulator came out uh, at the state that it is now and the state that it has been without any communication at all from the developers, right? 
Imagine that. Imagine, like, I probably wouldn't even be playing anymore. Like, literally, if there was no communication at all coming from developers talking about what they're fixing, what they're trying to fix, what they are aware of, uh, what they, you know, uh, being uh, very honest and transparent about what they messed up. You know, I love the fact that they mentioned, like, hey guys, we apologize. Um, when we broke that first update, we were rushing. That's what they said. They said we rushed to get it out and get as many features in there as possible, and we broke a bunch of stuff, and we did not test it, right? Um, so I'm glad they were open and transparent and honest the fact that they messed up. They screwed up. Um, so I, I got so much respect from that, honestly. So much respect from that. All right, should be uh, turning right now in just a second. Uh, we're actually coming over Marta now, and we are nicely below 24,000. It's kind of, uh, it seems like it's sending us a little early. I don't really know that the VNAV is actually kicked in. I don't I don't know what I did, but it it's, doesn't seem to be doing it right. Unless it's trying to meet some other altitude restrictions that I don't know about. Like I said, we'll let it do its thing and we'll adjust as we need to. Is Code of War available again, Malfufi? Because I, or is it just like on, on PlayStation or something like that? Because I, I played last weekend and I had a lot of fun. Honestly, I really enjoy Code of War. <laughs> I've really been enjoying playing Code of War. I would love some chicken tenders and fries, man. Pass them out. One of your classmates just got cancer. Oh, that's horrible, man. I'll definitely be praying for him. Infinite aviation. Uh, Blink, you're gonna get PD if that's okay. What is PD? Oh, premium deluxe. Um, the best features in premium de deluxe are obviously the 787, which is broken. <laughs> um, it works sometimes. For me, I have not had a great experience with it. With the, with it, I've seen other people fly it easily, but I personally haven't had a great experience with it. Um, but it's a beautiful plane. So when it's fixed, it's gonna be amazing. Um, what else do you get in Premium Deluxe? You get a few other planes. I think you get like the Longitude stuff like that. There's some decent planes in there. Honestly, I would, I would, if you can afford to get the Premium Deluxe, I would say yes. The reason I say that is because you're still getting a ton of planes. For a pretty cheap cheap price. If you're coming from X plane, you understand. If you wanted like 20 planes, how much are you gonna be? How much would you pay if you wanted 20 20 planes on X plane, right? Um, let's see, 20 times 30. Because usually, even uh, the planes, the 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 quality you get in in Microsoft Flight Simulator is pretty much Carinado quality. Think about it that way. Oh, that's a good way to think about it. Think about it, this carrying out of quality. You get a beautiful eye candy plane with minimum systems in everything across the board. Uh, and then carrying out will charge you 25, 29, 30, usually $30 for that. Um, so think about it, if you if you multiply 30 times 20, that's a whole lot of money. So you're getting a deal uh, if you get premium deluxe, if you can afford it. Uh, plus you get a lot of very nice handcrafted airports. So yes, I would recommend if you can afford Premium Deluxe, get it. If not, if you're still on the fence about it and you're like, I don't really know if I want to spend that much money, then just get the regular version. I think you can upgrade later on. Uh, how are my frames in Microsoft Flight Simulator? They are, uh, it depends where I am. It depends where I am. Right now, we're good. We're in the water. <laughs> so we're amazing. Uh, as we get over like more land, it gets a bit less. It's better. Um, the frames, honestly, my frames, I'm on ultra, so if I have, you know, problems, it's a lot of times it's, it's my own fault for just having my settings too high. But frames are not as bad as they used to be. If I'm in New York, London, stuff like that, I start to really struggle, and the main reason is because I need to turn my, my settings down. I like to stay on ultra, I just like how ultra looks, and I don't want to go anything lower than ultra. Um, but when I get to places like London, New York, I realistically need to turn my settings down, um, because my frames get really bad. But as far as performance, I'm getting way better performance today in my Microsoft Flight Simulator at ultra settings than I was getting yesterday on X-Plane at medium settings. So if that says anything to you, there you go. How is the throttle, Nicholas? It's pretty cool, man. It's just like, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it just kind of, it just, it just adds to the experience, man, of having an Airbus branded 
um, throttle that looks like the Air, the Airbus thing. You know what I mean, I feel like the thing is before now, I felt like to get to get an Airbus an Airbus style throttle or even joystick before the TCA pack came out, you had to pay a whole lot of money to get them custom made or three D printed. Right now, you kind of have the option brought to the regular consumer like me, like you, um, who just either just want to throttle in general or you just love want an Airbus throttle. Uh, so it makes it a lot more, um, I guess, not receivable. What's the word I'm looking for? Easier to get, I guess. But I like it. Um, I like that I can change the uh, the tension so I can make it heavier, or so I can more tension to turn. Um, you can turn off the reverse with detent if you want to use it for anything else. Um, it's still a work in progress right now as it's very early. Uh, and it's um, not very early. I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, it's still a work in progress where there's a patch to be made for Microsoft License specifically. Uh, and probably to explain as well MP3 um, in the next coming week. So I have been, they told me that it is being worked on. So we'll see how it works next week. <laughs> Modern Warfare is the the newest Modern Warfare. Is, it definitely trumps the original Modern Warfare. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Because the, the first Modern Warfare, the Modern Warfare Two, the, like, the best one in my opinion of, of before before Modern Warfare started sucking, uh, was like my favorite first person shooter ever. Uh, one of them. Uh, as well as Battlefield, I think three or two bad company, one of those. Um, I think we should be descending, guys. I think it's trying to. Are we frozen? No, we're not frozen. I think we were frozen for a second. <laughs> uh, Paulus, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Arrow Family. Great to see you. Thank you very much. But yeah, I like Call of Duty Cold War. I do. I do, I do. I would recommend it, yes. <laughs> I would if you like first person shooters, I would recommend it. Uh, and right now, if you have Modern Warfare or Warzone, definitely try out Zombie Royale. It is so much fun. It's crazy. Yeah, typical add-on plans around thirty to sixty dollars a pop. Uh, anything below thirty dollars you might wanna you might wanna double check and see if it's legit. New training missions just announced for, from third party blue and patch five coming also honeycomb hotels. Yes, I've heard of a few of those things. Uh, I didn't know about the training missions. That's cool. I, I never actually finished reading the patch, the, um, the update from yesterday from Microsoft Flight Simulator. I read some of it. I didn't read all of it. I probably should finish reading it. Thank you, Mount Fufi. Nice train sim video today. Appreciate that, bro. I'm glad you, uh, some of you guys are joining the, some of the train stuff. And the accident game too, thank you very much for that too, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for that support. Yeah, the accident game was dark, man. That was... I don't know if you guys saw that video, but that was dark. <laughs> Being basically a first responder simulator uh, and saving people. Being the first one on scene and having to save their life. And if you take too much time, they die. It's pretty darn crazy. But uh, yeah, I've been enjoying that. Enjoying some of the scenarios there on, a on the accident game, and then uh, been enjoying some of the new content from the train sim world, and even train simulator lately. So, um, yeah, it's been pretty dope. What add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator am I excited about? I'm excited about obviously PMDG. Who's not excited about that? Uh, but we don't know when, we know when that's coming. I'm also excited about the Aerosoft CRJ. Um, I heard there's an A220 somebody's working on. Not sure how long that's gonna take, but I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else is coming? Mainly planes. Like airports are freaking coming hot. Like every day, there's a new airport coming out from Microsoft Flight Center. I can't keep up. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, there's a few airports that I'm, you know, I'm hoping most of them, you know, are most of them. I think have been like in Europe, right? There's, a, there's been a few in the U.S. Not as many, um, but you know, hoping for some bigger airports come to the U.S. Flight beams done a really good job. Looking for some flight. Looking forward to some flight Tampa stuff. Sebastian R, what's up, man? 
Uh, how do I have the quadrant already? Thrustmaster sent it to me, my friend. Ultra for you is 2 FPS. Oh, boy. But yeah, for everybody else, um, you should be, again, uh, from what last I heard, you should be. Um, it should start shipping pretty soon. And by pretty soon, I, I'm just, again, don't take this as a hard number, but I'm saying, like, sometime probably in the next few weeks, maybe by the end of the month, hopefully, hopefully, um, but you definitely should be getting it pretty soon. So the wait is almost over. When you try to upgrade to the total becomes $140, I should have bought Freeman Deluxe before. <laughs> yeah, you end up paying the same amount, so that's true. I, I feel like we're gonna be high. Where are we? Let me find out. We're almost there, guys. We're about to. We're approaching Barcelona now. We are. It says eight minutes out. Take a look at me chart. As right, so you see right here, coming over uh, Ruz, or Reus, and that's how you pronounce that. Um, and yeah, it's like we have an altitude restriction of 10,000 all the way over here. So it's actually, we stay pretty high. There's 10,000 right now. So let's make sure we don't go any lower than 10,000. Because the plane, the, auto, the VNAV right now is not really working. Why? I don't know. Um, but it should have, it didn't really fly us down correctly, but it's okay. So we're at 10,000, we'd be at 250 knots when we get there. I'm actually going to go ahead and take over the speed because since we're at 10,000 already, there's no reason to just stay below 240 because we can go faster. It's going to take more time to get there. It's going to go like 300. Speed up and catch up. Check out the new FS Academy's IFR course for mo for your viewers. Yeah, let me let me look it up right now. Actually, it's called FS Academy. What is that? Like some kind of mission thing? Uh, oh, thank you, 360, for reminding me. I do need to fix the bearing. I'll do that after the stream. Do not let me forget. Ping me again on Discord to remind me. It's super easy to do. I just need to do it. Uh, so remind me to fix the bearing. I meant to do it yesterday when I saw your message. So I just got distracted. All right, Tino is on a 10-mile final. Sounds amazing, bro. That's amazing. That's great. Uh, my PC specs. Type in exclamation mark specs. Sorry for the late reply on that. I'm going back through the messages now. You want to see how good I am at COD? I, I'm suck. I'll tell you right now. I'm I'm, I'm not great. I'm not great at all. Man, I have some Call of Duty videos already. Look at it on my channel. I have a bunch actually. I did I did uh, like half of the story of Modern Warfare. I didn't finish it sadly. It really bugs me every day. The fact that I did not finish that series. Um, and then I did a few multiplayer videos of Call of Duty Modern Warfare like a while ago. And uh, I'm basically the same level that I was at that time. So I'm not great. But I just have fun with it. But I've been thinking about it. I've been debating on uh, doing one. I know I did a poll on YouTube uh, like a week ago uh, so asking if you guys think I should make a Call of Duty Cold War video um, beta. And it looked like most of you guys voted for it. So um, whenever the beta opens back up, if it's open this weekend, maybe I'll try recording a video for it. I'll probably do Warzone or Zombie Royale or one of the zombie, um, the, the Halloween themed events that they got going on. Are they making an ATR 42 or 72? Um, not that I know of. Not that I know of. Probably. Probably. Biggie. Uh, Biggie. Big Easy. What up, man? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Rover Family. Great to see you, my friend. Glad to have you with us, man. You can see you can follow along here on our chart up to uh, max 250 knots, 10,000 at the next waypoint. So we'll start slowing down here in just a second. Uh, sounds like we have ATC pinging us. 
Uh, yep, center is back on, 132.35. You can see that here, if I close my chart, you'll see it here, we have center, so. We'll flip back over to him, I guess he had to go take a lunch break or something, or dinner, over here. So again, this is not a, this is not a, this is not a, uh, a robot. This is a real person talking on the radio. And he just pinged me again. Barcelona control aquí, Iberia 025, Derstrom, Stan Iber 280, como autorizado, 250. I don't understand anything he said. Iberia 0253, muy buenas tardes, Santiago, yo identificado, alcanzando nivel 280, espere pista 30, en Valencia, autorizado, Mandy 4, Charlie. Vex, hello, good to see you, welcome to the stream, man. Autorizado, Mandy. Gene Fox, welcome to the stream, good to see you, welcome back, man. Iberia 0253. Do I like Truck Simulator? I love Truck Simulator. Yes, sir. Sean Falter, hello. Good to see you, bro. Let me catch up. I'm behind. Can I show you the throttle? My throttle settings. I'll show you here once we land. No problem. Uh, EMA Torn Mode. Let me go ahead and contact ATC, though, because uh, we need to land the plane. 1020. A hundred hours of flight time in a single pilot profile. I just got a new uh, achievement on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hundred hours. Descent three thousand feet. QNH one zero two zero. Descent flight level three zero QNH one zero two zero. Barcelona, uh, Barcelona Center, Iberia one one six is a uh, ten thousand approaching Barcelona International. Barbaria 116, good evening, identify, expect ILS approach, runway 25 right, and descent flight level 70. Down to 70, expect runway 25 right for Iberia 116. I wanted to say it in Spanish, but I wasn't very confident. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I choked. Was it a 20, 20... Right. I'm trying to think what the heck the how you say it. Uh, zero. Shoot. Oh man. My brain. My brain doing too much things. I can't think. It switched from uh, the terrain radar. Dang it. Hey, what's the altimeter out here? Oh man. Oh man. All right, here we go. Two five right. That's what we were expecting already. So that's beautiful. It's gonna be over there. Alright, let's go take this down for a bit. Well, 7887, uh, Black Ops 2, best call of duty ever, nothing is changing in your mind. Yeah, I think most people would honestly still agree. I wouldn't, I wouldn't debate against that either. I, I agree, I think that is still the best one. Even after the, the, the latest Cold War, I still think Black Ops 2 is the best. Hey, Kate, left when we land. Thank you, Tino, for the uh, no time. I'm trying to think how to say it in Spanish. What is the weather, though? I don't think. Uh, hold on. Mitar. Yeah. 1018. There we go. All right, coming down to 7,000. And what is my plane. <laughs> Set up to do. Three jet two Bravo Alpha left heading two four zero degrees final vector for ILS two four left to report. Stop. You don't have any ILS in here at all. Three jet two Bravo Alpha heading left two four zero. Interesting. I thought I had one. Program two five right Zulu. Iberia zero two five three. Espera nivel siete zero nivel avanzando. Oh, I should, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Next time, Iberia Uno Uno says, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully he doesn't respond in Spanish, because I'm not going to understand him. Iberia 116, continue heading 0 9 or 0 degrees. 0 9 or, uh, heading 0 9 or 0. Was that 0 9 0 0 9 0 6 for Iberia 116? I don't know if you understood what I said. I don't think you understood it. But I think you said 090 and down to 060, something like that. 6000. Jet 2 Bravo Alpha, left heading 210 degrees to go to the local 
Cool, get to Bravo. I'm heading left to one field. Uh, is heading mode on? Okay. Why are you turning that way? Okay, yeah, zero nine zero is that way. He's making sure. There it is. That's two five right. Let's make sure this is all programmed in here. All right, let's two five left. No, not two five left. Two five right. There's two five right. Yeah, no star. Radio one one six descent to altitude five thousand. Greenwich Barcelona one zero one eight. Down to five thousand. Greenwich one zero one eight. Ibrio one one six. Ha ha ha! I just want to say it one time. Let me say it one time, one time. Ibrio uno uno six in the building. All right, down to five thousand. That's hilarious. All right, let's get uh, gauge that and then that and get the vertical speed going. Vertical speed. Thank you. Yeah, I just realized that that wasn't even descending just a second ago. All right, down to 5,000. Speed and bring our speed down to like 220. Because we're a bit high. Yes, I agree, Stainless. Call of Duty Modern Warfare campaign on realism mode was definitely one of the funnest things I've done on Call of Duty. For sure. That's why I had to record it. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading... I'm going to double check. We're heading 090, which is what he gave us. And then we're going down to 5,000. QNHD 1018, landing on runway 25 right. We have that plugged in. Uh, and we're ready to go. So airport should be off our right. Um, yeah, at our, our 9 o'clock. Is that 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock. Area 116. Descent to altitude 3,000, QNH 1018. Down to 3,000, I bring you on the uh, I like how he's talking to me. Bravo Alpha, you missed the localizer to in English. Right, heading <laughs> he's talking to me in English, I was talking to him in Spanish. Two for left. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of Spanish. Major 2 Bravo Alpha, heading uh, right to 7 Vivo, to Alpha, to 2 for left. Sebastian, can I please do what in the outside mode? Right now we're controlling. Radio 116, right heading 200 degrees, clear ILS approach, runway 25, right, report established. 200 degrees, uh, clear for the ILS approach, runway 25, right, we'll let you know when we're established. Uh, I bring you 116. Boeing 7827, viento Barcelona 270 grados, 11 nudos, pistol 5 izquierda, autorizado aterrizar. Autorizado aterrizar 5 izquierda, Boeing 7827. All right, let's turn on the ILS stuff on our hood there. Barcelona Control, buenas tardes, uh, beauty 3160. Uh, we're clear down to 3,000. We can slow down a bit more in the turn. Beauty 3160, stand by call you back, break break, Iberia 0253, espere vectores. Right, here's your quick outside view. Posterior Sagunto, mantenga rumbo por ahora. Out here off the coast of Barcelona. Sagunto, mantenemos rumbo Iberia 0253. So, Jaden, good to see you. Welcome to stream. Two Bravo Alpha, now contact Palma uh, Tower, frequency one one eight decimal three zero. Bye bye. Is there a tower here? Oh no. He's not talking to me. Talking to me? Are you talking to me? I think there's a tower. Yeah, tower one one eight decimal no, three zero. There's no tower in Barcelona. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, no tower. Three one six zero. Very good evening. Read to copy. I approach. There's localizer. You can see it right here. Three one six zero. Good evening. You're clear to Gibraltar. We are sixteen Carabaya, miles out. Tatos to Papa Dibato, runway zero six. Initial climb. Six and this is basically the runway right here. Two zero two. All right, checking our land lights. Land lights are indeed on. Yes, Quark six two zero two. Do do. Right. Yep, seatbelt signs are on. We we'll go flaps down a notch. I'll break to medium for today. BT3160, you read back is correct. Taxi to holding point zero. And six, speed break is armed. So apparently, I can't remember who it was, but somebody in chat said they're going to give me $200. <laughs>
<laughs> if I get less than 100 on the landing rate. Was it 200 or was it 20? It was probably 20, but we can, we can rag it up to 200. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is uh, 248. Very good evening, sir. I hit you for a uh, break break. Iberia 116. Um, winds Barcelona 270 degrees. 11 knots, runway 25 from right, clear to land. 25 right, clear to land, Iberia 116. Uno, uno, seis. Sebastian, you have it too? Yeah, man, approaching I, uh, Barcelona, Spain. We actually have not flown out here yet on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have, but not in a stream. Beautiful. Uh, we got the sun right off, right in our eyes on this okay, on this landing. Okay, welcome uh, your crew to Gibraltar. Okay. To Papa, the back I assume language. you guys want the throttle Mission camera. Plan. Not much is going to be happening in these flat right now. Two, two, seven. All right, we're 10 miles out. Let's go ahead and go sterile in the cockpit, guys. I'm not going to be reading chat until we get on the ground. Oh, did my camera move? Why is it? Oh, it didn't move. You do for you read back is correct. Taxi behind company traffic to hold in point runway 06. Get it slowed down. We are clear to land, guys. He gave us the clear to go. RF Crop 6227, QNH is uh, 1019. I just watched videos. What up, man? Jaden, it's going well, man. Can't complain, bro. Thanks for asking. I know I said I wasn't going to read the chat, but now I'm just waiting. Uh, <laughs> right, it's line up and wait, runway 06. Eight miles. I can't even see the runway. It's so. I know we're on it, though. All right, so one thing I'm wondering is, will these reversers work? It should. It should. We tested it before we took off. I do have a workaround. I do want to mention. What you'll, what you, what, what you'll notice is going to happen as we put the gear down. Bienvenido. I love it. I love it. I love hearing all the Spanish on the radio. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, but you'll notice what I'm going to do is, uh, right now I have a toggle switch for my thrust reversal. I can explain later if you weren't here earlier why. Um, but I have a toggle switch, which is right now this red button on this side. That's my toggle switch for my thrust reversal. Jet 2, Bravo Alpha, hello again, identify climb 3,000 feet, turn left. Alright, we are four miles out, guys. Uh, on the ILS, we are established. Actually, I didn't. I didn't report established earlier. Five zero degrees. One five zero. Fifty two one six zero. Wind cast young zero six zero degrees four knots. Runway zero six. Clear for takeoff. Autopilot still in control. Flaps are full. I'm still kind of having trouble f even seeing the runway. It's so it's so much sun. Yeah, I see it now. Hey, how about we take control? All right, uh, autopilot disconnect. You did two for Auto throttle disconnect. I now have the throttle. All right. Here we go. This is so weird. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. It's the same as like what you're used to, but it's just weird. At the same time, it's, it's weird and I, don't know, it's, I like it. I like it and it's weird at the same time. I like, it's a good weird. It's a good weird that I'm looking forward to getting used to. That glare on my screen is killing me. Radar contact after take off, continue climb, fly level 330. 
3160, continue climb flight level 330. Oof! 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 We get to Bravo Alpha, left, heading zero six zero degrees. All right, so we're in reverse. And sixty knots. Turn the reversers off. Hitting the toggle switch and pulling it back. Iberia one one six, back eight runway by your left. Exiting left, Iberia one one six. Come on, don't stop. Man, that was rough. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Like, the whole approach looks so pretty. It's like, oh, yeah, this is going to be better. This is going to be a good one. And then it touched down. And it was like, yeah, this is, this is not what we thought it was going to be. Not what we thought it was going to be. Uh, what did we get? We bounced the heck out of that thing, too, bro. <laughs> bounced the heck out of that plane, bro. Welcome to Barcelona. Continue via November Gate. Go right, I gotta write that down. My scratch pad. Alright, that was uh, November and then what for Ivory 116? Did I say that on the radio? Did I say that out loud? Ivory 0253, por su derecha rumbo 220. That wasn't for me. QT248, Gwyn Castellon, 060 degrees, 4 knots, runway 06, clear for takeoff. It looks so good until we until like right before. I wish I could see the replay, I really do. I think he said November 6 and then something. Can you repeat that taxi instruction for Ivory 116? Radio 116, taxi November, gate, Golf Sierra, stand of choice. Copy, uh, Cassidy Taxi via November, and then Golf Sierra, and then uh, Gate of Choice for Iberia 116. Thank you. All right, cool. So it's, yeah, just basically November, Golf Sierra. That was all. The park and break will release that. I don't think park break's on. No, it's not on. So, again, what you kind of notice is I, I, on my pinky, I hit this red button to toggle on the th thrust reverser. Because once you get down under here in this range down here, it's like, like so this, listen, you can hear the engines spooling up and we're moving. This is like regular idle on my throttle, but it's actually 40 degrees, in, uh, 40, oh God, what the heck? <laughs> it's actually 40 degrees in one, or 40% in one. Uh, and so to, get, to actually get to complete idle, I have to use the, like what, you know, what we would think would be the Thrustmaster detent. That brings it all back to idle. Um, that doesn't actually bring, put you into reverse. Which is what you would want, and what you would expect is whenever you hit these detent buttons, it, for it to go back down to the actual reverse, but it doesn't. So what you have to do right now, until it's changed, is you have to use a toggle button of some type. So I'm, I chose to use this one right here, so that I can hit that. Now you see rev comes up, reversals come up, and now you look at the actual throttle. As I go forward, it now goes back. This is kind of how like you, you're used to doing. Uh, if you have been using toggle before, so I used toggle before, and so it was the same concept. So that's why I'll pull these up just to get to idle whenever I land it. So if you were kind of wondering what the heck I was doing with my hands there, that's what was going on. So, all right, well, we'll go to whatever that percentage is, and we'll start taxiing via November. Uh, let me find out where that is. Where the heck is November? November, okay, this is November, and Gulf Sierra. I don't know, let's just go right. No, left. No, right, right here. We're already on it. We're already on November. Now you're playing Among Us. <laughs> Funny. So you can lock the reverser switches on the up position. Yeah, there's a thing right here. You probably can't see it on my camera. What do you see? Yeah, there's a little thing right here. It's really hard to see because it's so small on my screen. But it's a little thing you can turn. And it's supposed to lock these so that they don't actually matter. Um, but for me... Oh, okay, I forgot we're, we're in a plane. 
Uh, for me, it doesn't seem to be working. So I was trying to figure out exactly how to get that to actually lock it. Maybe I need to turn it more? I'm not sure. But it's supposed to allow you to, to basically make these in op and then you can use a full range. But that's not working. There's two notches. There's an O and there's an I. They both then do nothing for me right now. So I have to actually use that. To, what I do is I, if I want to use a full range, I just hold the whole thing and do it that way. That's how I'm currently doing it. So. Wow, Foofy's an imposter. <laughs> what up, Gio? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, bro. All right, so we need to find out where we're going. Uh, Gulf Sierra is what we're looking for. I don't know where the heck that is. I don't see that on my chart at all. I see hotel. Three jet two Bravo Alpha, fly heading zero three. See the see zero three. It should have been right before hotel Sierra. So let's just make a left turn. <laughs> I will park over there somewhere. I gotta put the verser up first. Oh. oh, let me try that. Let me try that. Oh, you just so you're right. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. So if you, you I know you guys can't see it. Again, I have another video coming out dedicated to this by itself later on. But there's a there's a little switch you can do on the side of your throttle, on both throttles, that allow you to lock the actual like little reverser mechanism in place. So that way we can. I'm gonna set my parking brake when I do this. That way you can use the full range. Ha ha! Look at that. Yeah, so that's basically what I need right now, because that's not really doing doing anything for me. That's cool. Thank you for that. Left heading two nine or zero degrees. Clear ILS approach two four left. Thank you, uh, Infinite Long, and whoever else said that too. Amazing. Yeah, that's cool. I was trying to figure out how that worked. Last, like last night, I was like, how the heck does this work? I was like reading diagrams and stuff, <laughs> trying to figure it out. So thank you, man. You saved me probably hours of, of, of mind blowness right there. I will take this one right here. You're the imposter and you won by a double kill. Very nice, man. I haven't played Among Us in about a week, but I've been wanting to. Might play some this weekend. We'll see if I have any extra time. All right, guys, welcome to Barcelona, Spain. How are we doing on time? We're doing all right on time. We have one more stop today. All right, parking brake set. That's looking good. And we'll go ahead and shut her off. Let's get our thing switched over. Get the APU on. And we'll just shut it off. So again, usually you just kind of pop these switches here on the actual thing itself, but right now they're not uh, they're not working. So just waiting for a patch for that to be fixed. We'll switch over to Unicom and get the jetway connected. And man, I really wish I could watch that replay because I really want to see how I freaking screwed it up. I really want to see it, but it's okay. Someday we'll get our replay mode. Did the latest update mention anything about replay mode? <laughs> I would like to know. Uh, when you shut the engines on, how to use it? That's by a button as a reverse or a toggle. Then you use the whole length as throttle access because all the other settings to use as it comes don't work. Oh, let me read that again. <laughs> when you shut the engines off, can you show how the throttle moves and the sound of clicking when moving through. Yeah, yeah, I can show you that right now. Yeah, for sure, Drew. Uh, and then also, SK says, for now, you have the pet. says the best way on how to use it, using a button as a reverser toggle, then using the whole length of the throttle axis because all throttle settings to use as it comes don't work. Yeah, ex yeah, SK, exactly right. Exactly right. So just as we just did, so you set a button as a toggle for the reverser, and then you can use the whole range, so. Agreed. All right, so let's actually let me turn the music off. And somebody was requesting that uh, you guys can hear the uh, the actual throttle itself. 
Matter of fact, I'm actually going to turn the music down. Not the music, the uh, in-game sound down as well. I'm going to move my microphone over so that you guys can hear the, uh, the throttle itself. Hopefully there's no weird background noise going on right now. So I'm going to move my mic because I can do that over here. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be loud enough. It might not be loud enough. Let's see. Uh, all right, so you can see it right here. And right now it's in the complete idle position. So it's basically, technically it's in reverse, right? By what we see on the throttle, it's in reverse. Right here is where reverse starts. I know you guys can't see that very well. I'm just gonna move it around. Here we go. It's, it's kind of glary. Something like that works. That's good enough. Um, so I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna un, oh yeah, I'm unlocking it. Thank you, Mystic Carib uh, Mystical Rebel. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blu-ray family. All right, so that's the sound you're hearing right there. It's whenever the uh, these right here, these switches, whenever they turn back on, they pop right into place. So what happens is I can go all the way. I'm going to go forward a couple of notches. And you can't even hear. It's not making any noise. Is it making any noise? It's a very faint click. Let me turn off my noise cancellation here. I get real airy. All right, noise cancellation is now off. You're hearing all the air in my in my room. <laughs> so don't don't let me forget to turn it off. But for demonstration purposes, let's try this. All right, you can hear that. Cool. So check it out. So click. There we go. So moving it forward. Yeah, you can hear that. Cool. Probably can hear my stomach growling too. So there's no click into Toga, uh, but there's a click into Climb. There's a click into, sorry, not Climb, Flex, Climb, and then uh, just Idle. It's, it's not really a click into Idle, it just kind of gets quiet. And then you pull the Reverse or Detents up, uh, makes no noise when you do that, and you go in, um, into the very full back. But again, there's no range here really of where to go for reverse so technically i feel like what probably should have happened is maybe they should have either made this a little bit bigger um or just gave you more of a degrees here uh, of how far you can go because once you get to idle you want to have some range to actually go backwards you but once you but there's none you can't go backwards anymore uh, once you go into reverse you're like in just max reverse basically it's a very tiny gap here very very tiny gap what you can use so again really the best option is just to hit a, a reverse or switch or something like that hit the toggle and then just use a full range so if i do that now in my cockpit you'll see in the actual plane it should now go into reverse so now we have all of this range to use as reverse right that's what you want because i mean you could you could just go right into max reverse yeah that's fine that would work um but you really want the full range to be honest with you you want the full range um, so if i hit the toggle again right here now it goes regular forward. So, and then what he was saying earlier in the chat was there's a little button. Let's see if you guys can see this. It's a tiny button right here that you can turn. So if I pull this up, oops, not like that. Pull it up and then twist it. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. That little right there. You turn it to the, turn it forward, and that locks it in position. So now I can move this one all the way up. So say, or, you know, imagine if you want to fly, I don't know, a King Air or something like that, um, that has like a prop. A prop lever. This could be like your prop lever, the full range of the prop lever, or even the mixture. Um, and then you can have another lever like this one over here. If I lock this one in, and this could just be my regular throttle. So if you just want to use this, this is kind of what I do with my other um, a whole test throttle that I have because it has two. It has two throttles on it. So what I use on planes that don't that only have one throttle is I'll use one as a throttle, which I didn't turn it off on this one. There we go. I use one as a throttle, and I use the other one as something else mixture prop whatever i need to use it for so it's kind of it comes down to what your setup is needs stuff like that so it's up to you uh also up to you to see what the value is for you i like it still like even with I, I'm, I'm used to doing the whole toggle for thrust reversal so it doesn't really personally bother me too much uh in most cases it does that there's a few products that that do it correctly but we'll see we'll see how uh what changes they make as far as, as like you know firmware wise and on the microsoft flight simulator side i see that changes it all because um, it would be nice to have this range down here to actually use as my reverser um, even though it's not much 
it'd be nice to use that. So anyways, that hopefully that answers your question um, and that shows what you want to see there. Um, you could hear everything. Again, if you want to hear the other buttons, here's the uh, starter switches, which again, right now in Microsoft are not working until the next patch comes out. And then here is the crank switch. And then these buttons are clickable. So, all plastic, all plastic, made in China. All right, cool. So hopefully that, uh, that helps you guys out. Let me go ahead and turn the noise cancellation off, get rid of all the air. There we go, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Was the throttle install easier to, or harder on Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane? Um, oh, it's about the same. I mean, X-Plane already has things mapped. That's the biggest difference right now, is right now out of the box, uh, again, later on after the patch and stuff like that comes out, it, it'll automatically basically inherit all the controls you need in Microsoft as well. But as of today, as of today and yesterday, um, in X-Plane, it'll kind of pre-map things for you based on what it's supposed to be. And on Microsoft, it doesn't do that. You have to do it manually. That's the only difference. So I will say X-Plane right now um, until the next patch comes out. Um, flaps? There's no flaps on this one. There's a new, there's a new flap thing coming. A new uh, extension to have flaps on it. All right, so you guys ready to do another flight? Uh, our second flight over to Marseille, France. Get the aircraft set up for that. Uh, what should we do? Should I just? Uh, I think I have the flight plan for it, ready for it. I should try the thrust in the A330. I should, yeah. I, I need to test it in some other planes, like the Jar Design A330. Um, I might try it in the A350. A350 has a different type of throttle, though. I think you use a different kind of throttle, I believe, in real life. Let me catch up on chat. Uh, so, SciTech throttle, you can switch out the throttle heads. Uh, add-ons for a variety of Boeing Airbus GA aircraft. That's pretty cool. Uh, is it okay to move it over to Nevada? Um, if you're gonna fly it, yeah, sure, that's fine. I haven't been flying it lately. I think I was the only, mainly the only person that was flying it out in Texas um, for FS Economy. So if you're gonna fly it, um, then yeah, you can take it in the bottom. Just make sure it's making, as long as it's making money, I'm cool. As long as the plane is making money, I'm okay where, wherever it is. It's not in the middle of nowhere. It's not getting used, stuck, stranded somewhere. Uh, am I going to uh, let me see. I'm trying to think if I should import. Should I go back to the main menu? And I already have it there. Let me see if it'll let me load it. There's a load feature here, but it doesn't show. I don't know why this doesn't work. Yeah, so I have flight plans in here, but it's not showing them. Cancel, so I don't know. I don't really want to do it manually. I don't really want to. All right, we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go out to the main menu and we'll, we'll, we'll set for the next flight. It won't take long. Thankfully, the load time for me is pretty quick out here. Uh, it's basically beeping to tell me that we're disconnected from VATSIM, which is okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get the flight ready on SimBrief as well, get that file and everything. You're impatiently waiting for the Honeycomb Bravo throw. I know a lot of people are excited for that too, man. It's a good time. It's a great time to be in flight sim right now, especially for everything. I mean, the sims are, are the best they've ever been. The uh, hardware is the best it's ever been, you know what I mean? So it's a great time to be uh, in flight sim. Not Valencia. Here we go, LEBL. This is where we're starting. And I believe, like I said, I do have a flight plan already in here. Here it is. All right, so here it is. So this, so again, I want to explain how it messes this up. So you can see, this is my exact Simbri flight plan. This is exactly what I want to fly. Remember this. Take a mental picture of what this looks like. Tino, I'll get you a link, man. Let me let me get it downloaded first. 
or let me uh let me i don't even have the, the, the websites open to do that so give me a second to get it i'll go ahead and upload it though for you make it easier for you guys who want to join us today uh my flats the next flight is be barcelona to marseille france another short flight short legs only 300 miles be pretty quick probably probably 45 minute long leg very quick one. Uh, where is my flight plan stuff? There it is. Uh, no pack X today. Uh, we'll we'll bring it back next flight. I just didn't want to set it up. That's all. I'm also going to include the first flight in there too, in case you want to fly it later. Uh, again, if, you, if you're not familiar with the channel, you can type in exclamation mark flight plan. And uh, I have a Google Drive link that you can download um, the FS2020 flight plan. And you can import that just the way I just did on the world map. And it'll put it into your sim exactly how I created it in Simbri. All right, it is ready. So go ahead and get that. So exclamation mark FPL. There you go. There's a flight plan. I'm also going to post it manually as well in the chat for those of you who do not want to download it. If you want to input it manually, that is all good. Wait, why are we... Why are we here? I didn't... Did I hit ready to... Did I hit fly earlier? I don't remember hitting ready. I didn't remember doing that. <laughs> Put chat on screen. Yeah, I gotcha. There it is. I've been wasting my Your wish is my command. I don't know why I can't get you oh, snap. Hey, hey. Drew. Appreciate the walkthrough, man. No problem, my friend. No problem. No problem. Thank you for that super chat donation, man. Thank you very much. Like I said, I am planning, um, basically, as soon as I finish this freaking live stream, um, I need to work on making a video of explaining everything I just explained to you guys uh, as a video. Um, so I gotta, I don't have all day. I really have like an hour. So we gotta hurry uh, to get this flight done. D DCS Halloween sale. Oh snap. I don't think there's anything that I don't already own that I want. It might, it might be, it might be, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. I'm a little, I, I'm get, it's getting to the time of year where I'm getting concerned about my wallet. You know, a lot of sales are, come, are coming out <laughs> on everything, you know. You guys know I don't play just one game. I play a lot of different games and they're all going on sale. And I'm like, well, Jesus, come on, man. Your boy gotta make a living out here. Uh, L, F, and L. All right, I'm posting the uh, flight plan here in chat. Again, sorry for not having this ready before a stream. I just was kind of in a hurry to get everything set up, the cameras and everything like that. So, you know, uh, have I created my own announcement for Pack X yet? I kind of want to. I think it'd be pretty fun. I've always wanted to do that, honestly. I've always wanted to create my own sound set for like an passenger passenger announcements. I always thought that'd be pretty cool. I haven't done it yet. Like I know I have a studio that I could do it in too. Like I could go to the studio and then create it. I just have to kind of like get the wording and stuff like that. And honestly, I would like to kind of um, I would like to like hire or bring in a friend of mine or somebody who's like a real flight attendant um, to come and do the announcements for me. And then I can do the pilot calls, and then he or she can do the flight attendant calls. Uh, you, you straight. You study for piloting. You work and you stream and you record. I do a lot of things, bro. <laughs> do a lot of things okay we're back in the main menu and you have the flight plan now i have that in the flight plan drive we are all ready to go so me explain this again i'm explaining this every time i do it to make sure you guys understand what the predicament is so we're starting off at lebl this is barcelona el pratt and i already have a flight plan loaded right here it is I'm loading it in uh from barcelona to lfml Marseille, France. Be right back, Drew. All right, man. See you. No problem. 
All right, so that's our flight plan. 36 minutes at uh, 26,000 feet, not very high. Flying the Iberia A320 Neo. Expecting runway 25 right and departure Dally to Papa. But if I don't want to start on the runway, which I recommend you not do, um, I see a couple of you guys over here. We'll hop over here. 167 parking. So if I hit set departure, watch my flight plan and my departure all go away and, and change to something else. There it is. Now, this is slightly different than what we had. It obviously is missing the flight plan. Uh, so we're gonna do that again. So it was a Dolly something two five left. What was it two five right? I think it was two five right. So now that it redraws this part, but kind of some of this stuff in the middle is not exactly the same as how I had on Simber. Uh, I wish Microsoft, if you just happen, I don't think they watch my videos, but if they just happen to be watching or somebody who's representative, it'd be nice if we could enter the flight plan in up here where it does it already. Like I would like to just change these. Can I change these? I would like to just go up here, like create my own flight plan, my own waypoints up up here. Like I don't see why I couldn't do that, just type it in. Um, so that way, if, you know, maybe I don't have the file, but I can copy and paste it, that'd be amazing. So that's a request of mine um, that I want in the sim. So anyway, we're ready to go. I'm hitting Navlog, 2,600 feet, fly. Let's get it. Again, we will be on VAT sim for this leg as well. So, that being said, let me get that set up. Yeah, we're missing like three or four waypoints in the middle section. So yeah, and I don't even, I don't trust that we can add it in the FMZ or the MCU. So we'll just go with it. All right, same call sign, Iberia. 116. Iberia Uno Uno Seis. Uh, how much is the Thrustmaster throttle? I'm assuming you're asking. It's a hundred. It's uh, ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine, ninety nine. And I think the pack together is like one hundred and sixty or one hundred and fifty or something like that. Uh, let me look. Actually, let me let me be correct. Let me not let me not be throwing random numbers out there. Hold on. <laughs> there are links actually in the description. Matter of fact, I don't, they didn't mention those. In the description of this YouTube video, there are links that go uh, to buy or just learn more about them. Alright, fix the things you're in. Let's do it, man. Gagging car. What up, man? Thank you very much for coming through. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I would just, you know, ferry it in whenever you have time to fly. Because, I mean, if I just happen to want to fly and it's in Nevada, then hopefully it's somewhere that has jobs. You know, as long as it's somewhere that has jobs, then it should be good. It's one, one pet peeve of mine in FS economy, and it's not particularly our pilots that do it, um, but if we have our aircraft set for anybody to rent them, and then they fly it to some random dead-end airport and just sit in there, uh, it's just kind of annoying. Like, well, there's no jobs here. Why would anybody fly this plane or rent this plane and there's no jobs here? Especially a job for, and it's a King Air as well. Like, think about it this way. This is the way I think about it. Uh, whenever I'm flying the King Air, King Air can seat in FS Economy like what, 14, 15 people, something like that. A decent amount of people. No, 12. I think it's 12 people. Um, and if it's sitting at an airport that only has like five jobs, I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, you can fly to make a little bit of money, but you're not making as much money as you should be making in a King Air. That's more of a Baron 58 type of flight. Like for me, I like to have full flights everywhere I go, if I can, or at least fly to somewhere that has full flights. But that's yeah, just kind of my personal way that I, I fly on FS Economy. Alright, cool. So, 
Master Switch coming on an APU. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kill the music for a little while. Those of you who do want to hear the plane. Now, a lot of you guys love the soundtrack of the way these planes sound. Uh, eight years of starting up. We're coding dark again. It won't take us long. We got the flight plan already loaded in, so uh, we won't do much there. And we'll go ahead and connect to VATSIM as well. And hopefully don't have any delays with ATC getting off the ground. We should be okay, though. We'll see. Get the lights turned back on. 14 packs. Thank you. All right, cool. So, let me get comfortable. Uh, flap is open, so we can go ahead and start start APU. And if we want, I mean, we can get the jetway on, but I mean, it's not really necessary, but just for fun, we can connect it. I do kind of like to at least have it connected when I'm here. And then remember, if you want to switch over to VATSIM, you need to make sure that you switch your radios again. All right, so I think that frequency is the same as it was earlier. I think it's LEB something, 13235. So we'll go ahead and get our clearance from here, from him. One three two three five. There we go. Okay, I'm not hearing anything. Let me double check, make sure I'm connected. Oh, yeah, we need to also redo our weather as well. We need to re-inject the weather. So we need to go up here. To the weather set to clear live time. Oh, is it dark? Is it dark? What the heck? Is it nighttime? Wow, is it that late already? All right, let's go back. I don't want it to be completely dark. I mean, I want to see some things. We'll inject our weather. I hear the AP spooling up. Dallas, Texas says hello on this rainy cold three, morning. Five. What up, man? Ringo. It's actually uh, nice down here in Houston, so I'm kind of surprised that it's rainy in Dallas. We might be getting it from you guys later. We'll see. Hopefully not. I don't want the rain this weekend. Yeah, so you guys are asking how much were they? So the air, the side stick itself is sixty nine ninety nine from Thrustmaster. Uh, ninety nine ninety nine is the throttle from Thrustmaster. I'm saying from Thrustmaster because if you go somewhere else, you might get a different price. Uh, and then the officer pack, which is the joystick plus the throttle together, is one fifty nine ninety nine. So I was ten dollars off earlier. There's also a clamp coming, um, which is a fifty nine ninety nine. So yeah, but they're all out of stock. Actually, no. Uh, the Airbus, the, the side stick by itself is not out of stock. At least not on the Airbus on the on the Thrustmaster website. When a five uh, four oh. one Victor, buy, it, buy it before it goes away. You can fly that at Uscar, Uniform Sierra Kilo Alfa Romeo. Okay, let's get our clearance. Actually, I didn't, I didn't get my flight plan in here. Flight planning, load from latest save. I think this is it, yeah, that's it. Very good evening, identify mountain, present heading, climb final level 360. Uh, Iberia 116, looking for IFR to Marseille. Iberia 116, hi again. I, you're clear to Marseille via Dolling 3, Quebec. Departure, runway 25 left. Climb initially 6,000 feet. Squawk 6204. All right, clear to Marseille via the uh, Dolling 3, Quebec departure, and then uh, expecting 25 is that left. For departure, expect 6,000 initial climb and then I'll to squawking 6204 for Iberia 116. Iberia 116, read back correct, push and start facing west. Approve, report ready for taxi. All right, push back west, approve. Uh, we'll call for taxi, Iberia 116. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We good. We good, baby. We good. All right, so we won it. Uh, gave us two five left to the two five right. That's okay. We have to see if we can change it up. Change it up here. Fasta nine and nine and one. I told you to maintain current heading. Uh, no worries. You can fly direct Luma. I'll direct Luma. And he gave us dial up to Quebec and not Papa. We have Papa loaded. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. There it is, three Quebec. Insert. Hopefully that actually works. Let's check. I'm gonna double check that because I don't trust. It. I don't trust it. Not one bit. Winter is coming, brother. Oh Channel no. Five, seven, <laughs> Thank you, Ringo. To six, for the warning. Level it for it has been. It's, the weather's been nice out here in uh, in Texas, though. I know it's been nice in, in Houston. And you guys up in Dallas. You guys are cold up there. Last time I was in Dallas, I was freezing. I was for for freezing up in Dallas. Alright, that's that's good enough. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, we're clear to push back already. Fuel pumps are coming on. We're still waiting for the ADRs, so we'll have to wait for that to finish before we can actually push back anyways. But the APU is now available. APU bleeds coming on. And seatbelt signs. That's coming on. Arm the Fresh emergency one lights. One. Uh, how much time do we have left on the eight years? We have one minute until the eight years are done, so we'll be pushing back in a uno momento. All right, so that call that um six six two zero four is our squawk. We'll put that in the box over here. Seis dos zero cuatro. Yes, sir. Practicing my Spanish. Got to do it. I got to practice it. Or I'll forget. I will forget if I don't practice. Uh, two five left, expecting six thousand. I don't know how to say six thousand. That's a point. That's, that's above. That's above the words that I know. And uh, last time the altimeter was one zero one eight. It may be a little bit different, but we'll leave it at, at that one zero one eight. And eight years are done. Beautiful. All right, we are ready to push, guys. All right, we're gonna tell the jetway to get out of here. Requesting jetway disconnection. Look at Air France. I see you, Air France. Air France. Bonjour. Bienvenido. Good to see you guys. Yes, that is the plan. I'm taking off ASAP. 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 Matter of fact, we're pushing back now. Where's the pushback truck? Man, it's, I hate it when they don't give it to me. They make me ask for clearance down here. I know I should get the pushback thingy. <laughs> uh, it's not letting me. There's, okay. I'm pressing all the buttons. Request IFR clearance. He's not requesting. Let's try it again. I see fuel supply, power supply, baggage service, catering, jetway, go back to clearance, ATIS, ground, IFR. I'm just pressing all the buttons and the truck is not come. It's not even letting me get my IFR clearance from the, the default ATC. I don't know how we're going to push back. Might have to use the thingies. Shift P. Can I turn if I hit Shift P? Let's try it. Park brake release. Beacon on. And Shift P. Okay, here he comes. Oh, okay, yeah, that works. Thank you for that. Who was that? Said that fixing things. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you for that. Appreciate that. All right, so two five left. He said pushback face facing west, west. So, which direction is west? We are here. West is that away. So, left. We're expecting 25. 
this the right airport? This ain't the right airport. This is freaking Algeria. Hold on. Hold on. Let me load the new flight plan. I love how fast I can do that, though. I love it. All right, let's see. I mean, I can at least look at my compass and know which way is west, but... All right, here we go. This was the right... Okay, this was the right. So two five left is over here. But we still got the clear to go west, so we'll push back nose to the left. So that means push back steer to the right. Yeah, I think we turned too early, but it's okay. It's whatever. We're out of the way. All right, while we're pushing back, we'll get the engine started. Again, I'm not going to use the... You know what? I will use at least some of it. I'm going to switch over to the flight controls over here. Give me a second. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll stop right there. That's fine. All right, if you's on, um, again, I, I'm going to repeat this because some, some of you may have not been here, but currently... Um, these are not working, the actual um, ignition switches, like the uh, in engine one, engine two, but the crank is working. So I can go over to uh, the right and switch that over to the crank, and it should start, and then we'll pop engine one on, or engine two on. Actually, I, I just did it thinking that it was going to work, but it didn't work. I'm going to pop that right there <laughs> as if I was doing it. Um, but yeah, in the future, it is, it is going to work, and the next patch they're coming out with. And we'll go outside. Ah, oh, I love this livery. Love it, I love it. Iberia Airways, yes sir. Alright guys, get ready for our final leg from uh, Barcelona to Marseille, France. That's uh, one good engine. Let's go ahead and get the next one set up. There's the Wolf Wolf. And starting engine number one. Alright, he's set to call him when we're ready to taxi. We're almost ready to taxi. I didn't realize it, but there actually is an ATIS here in Barcelona. So we'll have to check that out here in just a second. Uh, which country owns Iberia Air? I honestly, I don't know. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my hands, <laughs> I'm uh, getting the charts ready for the flight. That's basically what I'm doing while I'm waiting for the engine to start. All right, we got two good engines, guys. We can set the thing back to normal. So for whatever I can't find on Microsoft, on x -Plan, I found it, but on Microsoft, I can't find how to get it back to go to normal. So I have to just do it in the sim. And we'll go flaps down, speed brakes applied, speed brakes uh, armed, auto brakes to max, and we'll get the weather stuff ready. By hitting weather plus T, which is weather and turbulence, and system one for that. So that'll get your weather working. If you're wondering how. Six, one, radar contact after and I'm actually going to listen to the ATIS real quick so we can get the current weather. Final level three, six, yeah. Which is on 118.65.
Barcelona control, buenas tardes. Ahí sí, 909. Scrolling, para scrolling, tener. scrolling. Keep them. Easy, no Frequency, no scrolling. Taxi. Wind 270 degrees, 9 knots. Cab OK. Temperature 20. 2.8 QNH 1018. No significant change of these was Barcelona El Prat information, Romeo. Hi, we have Romeo. <laughs> this is Barcelona. I have turn on the runway turnoffs and taxi lights. It means we're ready to taxi. And let's go ahead and contact this guy and let him know we are ready to go. Barcelona Control, Iberia 116 is ready to taxi with Romeo. Romeo 116, taxi left, gate Lima Sierra, holding short runway 02. I do apologize. Can you repeat that one more time for everyone? Avery 116, yes, no worries. Taxi left on gate Lima Sierra. Holding short tangui 02. I left on Lima Sierra and hold runway 02, Avery 116. All right. Victory, Ray Lima 066, one fly direct Kirom, Golf India, Romeo Oscar Mike. Let's get it. Parking brake released. We're gonna lock these, by the way. So I'm gonna lock these in place. So that way we get the full range. Which I think we already did. Yep, we got that. And parking brake should be... Off. Yes. There we go. Alright, let me get the chart up so we know where the heck we're going. That's our taxi instruction that I wrote down. Uh, and then now to do it, get Barcelona. Uh, I said left on, uh, I already forgot, what did he say? Lima Sierra. We're expecting 25 left, which is over here. And hold at zero 02. Juliet, Echo, Kilo. Is there another one of these? I'm like, is this an old chart? This is Marseille. Okay, that's the wrong one. Zachary, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome back, man. I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain, man. Too blessed to be sure. Channel 57, Charlie, speed is yours. Continue to send to 6,000 level as by base or QNH1021. We're just going to go that way because I don't, I, don't, I don't see what, he's, what he told us to do. I'm just going to go that way. Let's go. Bit more power. Just enough to get us rolling. Still really trying to find what the heck he was talking about. Lima Sierra. Did I not read that right? I don't see a Lima Sierra anywhere nearby. Oh well, we'll go this way. A lot of uh, Air France or Air France Air three twenties. So most likely, I'm assuming we're going to be going this way here. Avera 116, continue taxi left on Kilo to holding point 25 left. Alright, continue uh, left on Kilo to holding point zero 02. So this is Kilo coming up ahead of us. I'm looking at the chart more than I'm looking at the real thing right now. I need to the stream, man. Welcome. Easy 9019. Here it is, Wind right here. Barcelona 270 degrees, 9 and not runway 25 left, clear for takeoff. I think this should be what we're looking for. Yes, Zachary, I am loving the new throttle. Easy 
Eco Alfa, posterior calella descenso 3000 pies, con h 1018 autorizado y el S25 izquierda, notifica establecida. Después de calella descendemos a 3000 pies, 10, tiene h 1018 y autorizados a aproximación y el S25 izquierda. Identificaremos esta opción, es bueno. ¿Es left izquierda o derecha? No me acuerdo. Very control, I very 116, holding short runway 02. Very 116, you've cleared to cross runway 02. Continue taxi, kilo, holding point 25 left. Alright, uh, cross 02 on kilo and holding point 25 left for I very 116. Alright, clear taxi past. Go. Next five seven Charlie after best or clear for VOR. So we'll give a little bit of throttle to wait to get it rolling. Your discretion report and I'll pull it back. Do my best not to taxi too fast. I turn the strobes and the lane lights on when crossing runways. You also make sure you always get clearance to cross the runway. He obviously said hold at zero two for a reason. And he also said hold at 2-5, so we know we can't actually enter into that runway. If he just tells me off the bat that we, uh, you know, taxi via kilo cross this, then that means you can actually cross the runway uh, without asking. But a lot of times I, I ask anyways, just to make sure, because it's been multiple times that I have crossed the runway and, and thought I was clear, but I wasn't. Uh, best space sim? Ooh, good question. My favorite space sim is Star Citizen. That is my personal favorite. But another really good option is, uh, what the heck is it called? Dang it. It's right off the tip of my tongue. I have it. Uh, geez, let me look at my Steam library. <laughs> I already done forget. Star Citizen is my favorite though. Star Citizen is, it's beautiful. It's, uh, it's still an alpha. <laughs> it will forever be a work in progress. Um, but it's, it's, it's cool. Uh, remove the chart? Yeah, I can do that. Lufthansa 991, I'm going to do this, my lady, enjoy munching. Bye-bye. 1, 2, 2, 2, 8, thank you for the service, bye-bye. the heck is it called? It's bothering me. Hold on. I'm like not even on the same screen, I'm on Steam. <laughs> You're clear for takeoff runway 25 left. Wind 270 degrees at 9. Clear for takeoff. Uh, SZ 9019. Elite and dangerous. Oh my god, how did I forget that? Alright, so Star Citizen is my favorite, but the one right up that I would say for space simulation type stuff, I would go with uh, Elite and Dangerous. There is another game called Space Engineer. Okay, 116, behind the button traffic, line up way 25 left, behind. Uh, line up and wait two five left behind the traffic. I read one one six. All right, so I don't even see what traffic he's talking about. Do you guys see anyone? I don't see anybody out there. I see the two guys behind me, but I don't see anybody ahead of me. So we'll just kind of slowly do it because it may be a, an, an invisible plane that we don't know about. Just finished your third Neo Fly Bush pilot job. Cool, man. Hey, so I did go ahead and download that. Um, I've been I've been hearing you guys recommending it, so I downloaded it. I have not installed it yet, so I haven't tried it. But I downloaded it, and uh, just from looking at the website, like this is a bit more than I thought it was. I thought it was just some little like thing, but it looks like it's a bit bigger than I expected. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Level Am I looking forward to the shared cockpit? Absolutely, man. I've never really had, like, I've only done, like, two shared cockpit flights ever. Is it 9019er? If you wish, you can fly direct Kirom. And it went, it went good. Setup was a nightmare. 
Um, but the experience was so much fun. So I would love to be able to do that again with somebody. So I'm looking forward to a really good shared cockpit plug-in or add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So he told us to line up and wait 25 left behind. Again, I can't see the traffic that he's telling me to go behind. I don't know why I can't see them, but I can't see them. So we'll just line up at the very end of the runway and we'll wait for him to give us the clear to go. Alright, parking brake on. Lane lights. Check. Strobe light. Check. Wing light. Don't need it, but check. Nav light. Check. Uh, Seatbelt signs are on. Check. Emergency doors are armed. Check. Auto brake set to max. Speed brakes are armed. Flaps set for takeoff. Um, 57 Charlie, Roger, no yeah, worries. To left, heading 150 degrees. Behind and we have an altitude preset to 6,000. That's what we're cleared to go climb up to, 6,000 feet. Uh, what was the land rate of the first, first flight? I honestly don't remember. Oh, shoot. I didn't look. I'm sorry. It was, it was, not, it was not less than 100, so I didn't care <laughs> at the time. So yeah, I'll definitely have to try, try out Neo Fly. You guys have said great things about it, so I need to try it out. Where is this traffic he's talking about? Maybe somebody's taking off like on a cross runway or something. Yeah, I've heard great things, and honestly, Elite Dangerous recently or uh, got a massive update. The main thing about Elite, Elite and Dangerous that I didn't like compared to Star Citizen was two things actually. One, the graphics are not as beautiful as Star Citizen. Two, um, you couldn't actually leave the ship. In Star Citizen, two five left, clear for takeoff. I agree, one one six. All right, guys, we're going. I'll continue that here in a second. Here we go, guys. Flight number two, we're heading to Marseille. Park break released. And straight to Togo. Final level 300. 90199. This is the second leg, Adam. And 80 knots. One hundred, one twenty, V1. Channel five seven, Charlie, continue heading two thousand five hundred. Right, heading two four zero. Oh yeah. Report back to flight. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so my my steam took over. Iberia one one six, stop climb two thousand. Hold on, I'm not ready. Oh, Steam, stop it! I shouldn't have opened Steam. I shouldn't have freaking opened Steam. Iberia 116, stop flying at 3,000 feet. Fly heading 180 degrees. 3,000 feet, 180 degrees for Iberia 116. Oh my god. Every time I try to take out, something freaking happens. <laughs> okay, alright. 3,000 feet, which is way less than what he gave me before. Channel 5 from Charlie Fry heading 3 and feet. We're going to go into Toronto climb. And flaps coming up. Averia 116, left, direct deeper, Delta India Bravo Eco Romeo. Left, um, direct to. What was it direct to? Averia 116. Turn left, direct, deeper. Delta, India, Bravo, Echo, Romeo. Climb, flight level 260. Alright, left, die back, and up to 26,000 uh, for Ivory 160. Okay. Area 116, climb, flight level 260. 26,000 for Ivory 160. Alright, so we have a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Channel 57, Charlie. Must be go left. Uh, first of all, he said left 180, what he said the first time. And then from there he wanted me to, five, uh, seven, go to a waypoint that I don't have. Uh oh. Yeah, we don't we don't have the waypoint. Uh, no. 
Bueno, 7, 8, eco, alfa, así bien todo, 7, 0, grados, 9, nudos, pista 5, izquierda, autorizado a aterrizar. Autorizado a aterrizar, pista 5, izquierda, bueno, 7, 8, eco, alfa. What was the waypoint he told us to go direct to? Was it Nitba? It, it sounded like he said Dybeck. Did I just type that in direct? Uh, give me a second, my foofy. Yeah, I'm getting him to type it out because I didn't understand what he said. Diber. Yeah, I don't think that's my flight plan either. D I B E R. Alright, me just type it in. And D I B E R. Let's see. A320NX, what you got for me, buddy? Yes. Yes. Direct to Diber. Okay, where the heck is that? That's way that way. It's a bit bouncy out here, ain't it? I want to go direct, though. Why are you not directly going? Direct. Diver. No. I think it just added it to my flight plan. We're closing radar, continuing Unicorn 1 <laughs> Thank God. Unicorn 2 2.8, thank you. Have a good day. I have your 6. <laughs> thank God. All right, I'm leaving because I think that Microsoft jacked up our flight plan or something because we, we didn't have a flight the waypoint he, he was telling us to go to. So let's just see if we can just continue where we were supposed to go in the first place. Uh, where is this going? Send me direct to somewhere else now, please. Let's go direct to, like, I don't know, one of these, Nitba or something. Let me look at my my departure and see where we are. All right, there's Nitba. There. Yeah, let's go to Dallin. Dallin's where we want to be. Direct to Dallin. B A L E N. There it is. Yes, please. Alright, let's see if it'll turn us. It should just turn us and take us there. It is not. Pushing that to nav mode, that'll turn us in the direction, but it should have automatically switched us over to nav mode whenever we hit direct. So yeah, it's turning back, which is good. Back in on route. So yeah, bit of a issue right there when it gave me uh, it's one of like the, the the situations that I hate to, I hate being in, in the sim because it, it the the FMCs and computers can be buggy at times, or sometimes they don't do what you expect them to do, or you just don't know how to do what they want you to do. Uh, when they say go direct to a point that's not on your flight plan, uh, it can be tricky on how to get that in there uh, and without losing the rest of your flight plan. So I put it in, and it found it, but it didn't go to it. So we'll have to. F try that another time but thankfully uh they're closing and we're on our own so we do our own thing all right so right now we're passing to 18,000 feet and we'll turn off the landing lights and runway turn off lights taxi lights uh wing lights and all that stuff climbing up to 26,000 which is our cruise altitude for this leg we're in throttle climb and we'll go ahead and go into standard Good to go. I see you back there. Had a very nice view of the water today. Oh yeah, so DJ Malfufu was asking, what is shared cockpit? In real life, in airliners like this, um, 
in planes of this size, you will have two people flying the plane. Obviously, they're not both flying at the exact same time, but that's a whole other story. Um, and so, shared cockpit is basically like virtually um, being able to fly with somebody and virtually being in the other seat. So, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it be cool if you, DJ Malfubi, could be you know virtually sitting in that seat? No, you're being you be in this view over here. Hold on, why isn't the word working? You be in this view over here. You know, we're talking on Discord or whatever it is we, we're talking on. And, um, you know, I'm flying the plane or you're flying the plane and I'm handling radio communications, um, which is usually the way it goes. You know, I can change the altitude for you um, while you're flying the plane or I can change the frequencies. You know, that's one thing, you know, it's always a struggle for me for a single pilot to, to do is to talk on the radio, change the frequencies and fly at the same time. It can be, you know, the workload can get pretty heavy on a pilot. And so to have somebody else in the, in the cockpit that can do things for you, press buttons, move things around, um, you know, talk to, communicate with, it's really cool. Plus, it's just a really cool way to fly with your friends and other people. So uh, that is what shared cockpit is, the idea, the concept of it. And uh, it's been done before on P3D. It's been done before on X-Plane with different third-party add-ons. Um, but we're waiting for Microsoft to really get a really good one. X-Plane has one, but it's very uh, tricky to, to manage and get started, and there's a lot of things you got to do before it actually even works so I've never really been able to appreciate it like I, I want to um, but it's not just for airliners you can do shared cockpit in any type of plane you could do it in a King Air because King Air a lot of King Airs are controlled by two people right um, and even down to a Baron or a 7172 you can do flight training that way you know it's, or not even training just for fun you could just literally just hang out with a friend be in that seat and then they do all the flying and everything so you know Something that we're, we've been requesting, uh, the developers know that we want this feature, and uh, hopefully they'll incorporate it pretty soon. But they're working on some other stuff too. Uh, Grizzly, we just took off out of Barcelona for our second leg, and we are headed to Marseille, France. And I will show you our flight plan. Here it comes, hold on. Alright, so this is our departure right now, um, which don't matter anymore. It does matter, but it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, let's see, let's go to our live map. Tino, your game crash? Dang, man, that sucks. I haven't had a Microsoft Flight Simulator game crash in a while. Let me not say that too loud because it might jinx it. But I haven't had an issue like that in a while. So I think what happened, because I think we're still within his area, I think he just realized that uh, we didn't know what the heck we were doing and he was just going to let us go. Because he still could technically be, you know, <laughs> telling us what to do or controlling us, you know. Um, but yes, this is our flight plan, so we're taking off out of Barcelona. Actually, no, he's completely gone. He really was, he really was leaving. I'm sorry. Um, and we're heading this way up to Marseille. So most of it be over the water. We should have a, a, a decent view of the coast for most of it. Uh, there's a few, a few storms out here to the west. We might have a little bit of rain north of Marseille. Um, Marseille is one, of, is one of the places that uh, the French Grand Prix, actually not one of them, it is the place that the Formula One French Grand Prix takes place. That's the only reason I know where that is <laughs> because of Formula One. And then over here is Monaco. There's another Formula One race over here in Monaco. Formula One really helped me with my geography. Uh, Nightside Gaming, do I think two flight yokes on one PC will work together? Only ask because your wife and I are planning to go triple screens and fly together. Ooh. That is a good question. I think so, though. That's, that's, that's just, that whole concept sounds cool. Um, yeah, I think so. I believe, I believe you, it's possible. Um, I'm not sure how difficult it would be to set up. I've never been through that, but um, I mean, there's people doing full A320 cockpit set setups out there, so they got to be doing it somehow. So I would say I think it is possible. I have personally, not for a flight sim, or for something like Star Citizen. Uh, if you're if, if you're familiar with like spaceship simulators and space simulators stuff like that, uh, you may know that a lot of the ships uh, they don't really have like a. Some of them have thr oops, throttles. Um, but a lot of them actually have two joysticks, and one of the joystick is the throttle. Uh, so you can go back, forward, left, right. You know, it's a different type. You know, you fly in space differently than you fly on the air in the regular skies. 
Um, and so because I have two joysticks now, I have the Airbus one and I have the 16,000, what I do now with the old 16,000 is I use it as a second joystick for Star Citizen and I'll fly. So I'll do like my left hand will usually be like the pitch, the roll, and my right joystick will be like strafing, straight, strafing forward, strafing back, strafing left, strafing right, um, and stuff like that, so which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I found that on YouTube that a lot of people actually do this concept, so a lot of people actually buy dual joysticks. Um, so yeah. Grizzly is saying dual yokes will work. He has it set up with his honeycomb, which is pretty sick. That's cool. You look to your right, you'll see an A320. All right, let's take a look to our right. I don't see this A320. Uh, eventually, whenever a shared cockpit becomes a you know a thing, we'll probably do that, Captain Cross Country. That's a, that's a great idea, actually. Thank you for that suggestion. That's a great do um do shared cockpit shared cockpit with me as a premium member offer. I think it'd be a great idea. Because I mean, I can't I obviously can't let everybody do it, so it's gotta be some kind of way to choose. Uh, would me and my wife ever fly together? I wouldn't say never. Uh, but I don't know. She's not really interested in this kind of thing, so it'd be kind of hard to convince her. <laughs> to sit, she would get she would get bored too fast. I feel like she would just want to walk off and do something else. <laughs> I think that's what she would want to do. Yeah, people also play Elite and Dangerous with two sticks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're cruising. We're only 20 minutes out actually from uh, our destination. So again, pretty short flight. Weather's pretty nice out here. Cannot complain at all. Look below me now. Okay. I see water. I see lots of water. Those waves are pretty nice. Nipper G, look at that. Just received your quadrant today. Nice. That's dope. So I'm glad to hear other people are actually receiving them. <laughs> uh, that's cool. A lot of I've, most of the people I'm talking to have not received theirs yet so I'm glad so that's 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 really good hopes for everybody else who's ordered their or ordered theirs or pre-ordered theirs that um they are shipping so that's great man congratulations man uh Keith says your wife totally unimpressed with the sim it, mine too mine's the same way my, my wife is completely unimpressed by anything gaming sometimes I can get her to play some games but most of the games I play, she's very unimpressed by. But I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, if you think about it, the majority of people are not impressed by, by flight simulators. The majority of people are not impressed by simulators at all. There's a shared cockpit plugin out now for FS2020. Drawback is it only works for the Cessna 172 U1000. Oh, that's that's. It's like it's like exciting, and then it's like oh. But, I mean, if they got it working on the 172, then it's got to be a way for them to get it working on other planes. Uh-oh, Nipper, what's your issue, man? Let me know. I'm probably dealing with it, too. Look at the map, and you'll see a plane at waypoint Agena. Okay. Donde esta is Agena. I'm coming up on Dallin right now. I mean, I can't see the world map. Yeah, so I don't. I don't see it. I see a plane coming the opposite direction, uh, flying to Barcelona from looks like LIMJ, wherever that is, on Sim Tokyo Pro. Uh, when is X? I'm oh, sorry. When is Microsoft coming to Xbox? Microsoft Flight Simulator. When is that coming to Xbox? Still don't know. Still haven't heard any word about it. Um, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. trying to get reverse thrust to work yes my friend yes I I know what you mean 
I know what you mean. Let me quickly explain. I've, I've, I've said it multiple, multiple times in the stream, but you probably won't hear. It's all good. Whoa. We're speed. Yeah, I mean, we're fine. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna change it. So let me, let me show you what I did. It's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty simple. I can't actually change, like move the throttle because right, we're, we're in cruise right now. And I'll take us out of uh, the throttle setting that I'm in. But I'm gonna bring up the uh, my throttle quadrant for you. So what I ended up doing is this button over here, which I know you can barely see because it's all the way over. Um, I'm I'm personally I chose to use this button as a thr thrust thrust reverse toggle. All right, because what happens is when you move the two switches here and you pull it back to the end, it doesn't actually put it into reverse. It basically just puts it into idle. It's the same on Microsoft and it's the same on Xbox. Uh, so what you have to do right now, until you know some change is made in the sim or with the throttle itself, um, going all the way to the back is not going to actually put it in reverse. So you're going to have to toggle it. So you have to do the toggle and do what you usually probably do, and that is just go back and forward. Um, so yeah, that's what I what I what I did. Never. Yes, I agree. They should make the reverse another axis. Right now, it's only it's not another axis. It's, it's just not. So that's the issue. So right now, the workaround is to do the toggle, uh, and hopefully we'll get something um, um, that works better. Uh, what is the next stream? Uh, probably, uh, honestly, the way next week is looking, because um, I wasn't able to stream earlier this week either. The way next week is looking is probably going to be another Thursday, Friday set. So we'll probably stream Thursday and Friday. We might be able to pull off Tuesday. We might be able to pull off Tuesday. So we'll see. Probably Tuesday, Thursday, Friday next week. Um, again, it's, it's kind of up in the air at the moment because of other planes that I have. So I'm kind of scheduling streams around that. Uh, but usually at my same time, just Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday if possible. So I'll do my best to make to be here for you guys. Uh, if not, I'm trying to have some videos to be posted and stuff like that. So Grizzly says he's working on making it work with all the current GA fleet in FS 2020 and will eventually make it work with the commercial aircraft too. That's dope. I mean, that's a great place to start. I wouldn't mind doing shared cockpit in, uh, you know, a twin engine um, GA plane. I mean, even the Cessna would be cool. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's more to do uh, for two people and something a bit faster like a Baron um, or the King Air, you know, some, you know what I'm saying? So I'm interested though. I am interested in this project and seeing what they're doing. Because again, I, the shared cockpit experience is fun even in smaller planes. But obviously, when you do it in a smaller plane, you realize how much more fun it would be in an airliner. Uh, but I want to do it either way. I think it'd be pretty cool. Really curious to see how he did it. Uh, am I monetized with my streaming? Yes, yes I am. I've been monetized since 1K, I think, or somewhere around there. I can't remember how many subs it, it takes. It, the way YouTube works, it basically goes on subscriber count at certain numbers you unlock different benefits at a certain number you unlock monetization or you unlock the uh, ability to be monetized so you have to i think you have to oh look the plane is not going up anymore um you unlock the ability to apply for monetization i think that's how it works and then at another point you get like super chat donations at another subscriber count you get um membership stuff uh, at another plate, uh, time, you get um, the ability to create stories and, and post. Uh, you also unlock the ability to add like uh, merchandise from Teespring. That comes at 10,000, I think. Yeah. So um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different. I think I think at 10,000 is the main one. I think after that, pretty much everybody has the same stuff. Look above me. You guys just faking me out. Or what's up? I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing you guys. Can you see me? I don't see y'all. I haven't seen a plane since we, we were departing the Barcelona. He was behind me. I am all alone out here. Oh, I think I see you now. Nope, oh, that's not a plane. That's a, that's a star. Yeah, Nipper is no problem, man. I think that everybody who has, has the throttle is... Oh, there you are. Is, uh, is going to the same issue, and it's 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 not it's not a personal thing. It's just basically a limitation, I think, of 
um, maybe the hardware or even a mix between the hardware and Microsoft Flight Simulator themselves. So um, we should be getting some type of patch, like I said, to Microsoft Flight Simulator and to the hardware or the firmware, hopefully, here in the next week or so. And uh, it'll fix some things. For example, if you're in Microsoft Flight Simulator, the engine ignition switches are not working. So that's obviously something that needs to be fixed, but again, that's a Microsoft thing. So. Yeah, I see you over there, Clay. I see you, buddy. I see you. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking? So we are 10 minutes. Wow, this is a very short flight. 10 minutes away. And we are descending things. Let me take a look at me charts. Let me take a look at me charts. If you look at, uh, at the Sim Toolkit map again, you'll see how off we are compared to our original flight plan that I created in Simbury. As I mentioned earlier, between flights. Uh, where is that button? There? So look, so like, we're, we're just cutting it. We're like, it's like, ask, forget all these waypoints. Who needs all these waypoints? <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look. Uh, we do have a departure we're running. Which is, um, what was it? The uh, Social One in Marseille. Yeah, so Soser is the first waypoint, and we need to be at or below 19,000, uh, 15,000 Nagaki, and then uh, from there we'll continue to over there. Pretty basic RNAV approach. Not approach, but RNAV arrival. So I'm gonna put 19,000 in here. I think we've already passed what is considered as our top of descent. So I'm just gonna hit the button. There it is, Sosa right there. It's about just, just over 20 miles, probably 22 miles out. And it'd be down probably about 6,000 feet or so. We are over speed. In, in <laughs> yes, still using Rex. And uh, Rex is just drawing clear skies right now out here. Yes, I tried on X-Plane yesterday, uh, same issue. On X-Plane, everything maps, or most everything maps pretty well. Um, if you're using like, um, Tolis or uh, Jar like any of those, you might just want to check it and make sure that all the buttons are mapped correctly, because uh, on the Tolis 1821, I noticed that, for example, the ignition switches, and well, basically all the, the engine switches, um, were not mapped correctly. I had to, to remap them to the correct Tolis specific key. Oh, look at F-18, <laughs> Blue Angels. Um, so it, even though it says what it is in X-Plane, you still have to, might have to remap it. But most of everything else is, is mapped already correctly. But the same reverse issue is there. So you're still gonna have to use a toggle even for X-Plane. Uh, you should be working on the G27 The wife uses she she's rough on that poor thing good thing. I have a CPL extra for parts. Oh, man uh, No ILS yes Yes, there is an ILS uh, Did I not put that in I didn't uh, I run my 3-1 Thanks for reminding me. Oh, actually, I don't even know. Maybe is there an island? Yeah, there's an island. You're going right. Oh, you're going left. You're going left only has the RNAV, which we could do. I don't mind. It, it's, it, it, it's it's nice day. We can do visual. Um, and then ILS is Zulu, which is just cool with the RNAV. Let's do three one left. The skies are clear. There's no reason we even need ILS. I'm gonna go ahead and program next. I don't think it programmed it. Just like it did last flight. Yeah, I did. Eyeless 3 1 left. Or no, RNAV 3 1 left. There it is. RNAV 3 1 left is. 
Uh, did I check out the FS Academy IFR course? It's an add-on for Microsoft. I haven't checked it out. I, I have it on my computer right now. Like I typed it in in the browser, and it's like there. So whenever I go to my laptop, I'll see this there and be reminded. Hell, I was gonna look at this. So I did do that. So I'll check it out. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain Cross Country. I'll check it out. I'll be checking out Fat, as well as I'll be checking out um, Neo Fly that you guys were suggesting too. And this route today it was also a suggestion. <laughs> so thank you guys for uh, being a part. Oh boy, what is going on? Oh, it's really easy. Alright, what's our next altitude research? I think that was the only one. No, 15,000 is next. Go oh, down 15,000. Oh, now it's cloudy. Oh, now it's real cloudy. <laughs> of course, I chose RNAV. And it uh, looks like. Huh? That's gotta. When did that come in? What time is it? I just noticed I got a couple of messages from. Uh, direct messages from our last controller which is not online but that was a while ago so I think I missed it he said uh, he apologized for the uh, departure uh, apparently there was an easy jet playing around me that was uh, doing some weird stuff so the controller did apologize to us so now we have bad weather <laughs> we might need an ILS let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch to the, um, the ILS approach How about that Did I bump this? I think I bumped this. Yeah, I think I did. For now, we're like going super fast. Let's get rid of that noise. And we need speed brakes again. <laughs> I got rid of the speed brakes, and now we need speed brakes again. Actually, right, so look at all that red. Yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. So we're gonna switch our, our our approach to the ILS instead. Probably should have actually checked the weather before I made that that decision. Uh, ILS three one right. No via. No star. Just insert. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're just passing a Gaki now. See on the chart on your screen, and I go. We should go to Lip soon next. It looks like it's gonna do something else. That is Microsoft. Let's see what is it gonna do, and let's also get weather for Marseille. Get some lightning out there too. I think. Oops, that ain't right. Jack Guitar LFML. All right, weather is 150 at 5. Um, so the visibility is pretty good, but uh, clouds few at 2100, scattered at 4100, broken at 8400, cumulus broken, and then uh, temperature is 18.16, QNH1017. So I think there might be some storms around it. The Guitar doesn't really show us the storms at the airport, but there's storms in the vicinity in the area. Yes, the odd mind, this is Microsoft Flight Center. Oh my god, look at these clouds. Okay, now we get rid of the speed brakes again. There we go. And then... Let's zoom out here. I'm trying to see what the plane's gonna do. So it's gonna fly us out over here and then back in. And we can go faster. But what altitude do we need to be at when we get over there? Basically, it's flying us from where we are straight out to the right of the approach. This is happening. 
And we get the chart for our eyelids from the way to the right. There it is. You're learning to fly real King Air 350s. Bro, that's dope, man. It's amazing. Congrats on that, man. Congrats on that, man. That's amazing. Alright, I'm gonna double check here, make sure this matches what my chart says. Yep, 111.5 for Eyeless. Right. And we're going to Venta. Why are we going to Venta? We need to be going to Omeg or MRPM. Let's see if those are on flight. Yeah, let's go direct to Omeg. Because I don't know what it, where it's trying to take us, but it's definitely taking us a long way around. That's one thing for sure. You hear the thunder going on out there? All right, so there we go. So now Pobeg, is it doing it? It's still showing straight on the thing. IFR tutorial would be great for viewers. Yeah, it would be actually. Oh my God, our flight plan's so jacked up. Right, here's Pobeg right here, and we'll be approaching, basically, if you can see it, if I zoom, let's probably zoom in. Pobeg and our, our runway is right there. So it's be straight in and right there. So, and at Pomeg, we need to be at 2,000 feet. So we need to send now. I want to. I'm going to turn the music off because there's thunder happening in the background. You guys can't even hear. Alright, please descend. Lightning too, man. Alright guys, we're diving in the soup. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, how much are lessons per hour in a King Air? I don't even know. Oh boy. Might need ice protection. Huh, why does the ice buttons not work? Oh my god, the lightning. Oh boy, yeah, I'm really glad we switched to the ILS. Very spooky. Nice little Halloween approach. Okay, now we're out of it. <laughs> wow, look at this though. Oh my god. Losing a few frames. That's crazy. That breakout though. descent faster. I'm going to take over OP descent and vertical speed. And I'm going to go ahead and control our actual speed too. I'm going to go ahead and hit the ILS there so we can start tracking it. And we're actually going to need some speed brakes. And we're on 22.8 Unicom. Oops, sorry guys. Ah, uh, he's got a message again. Failed to create aircraft AFR-235 using model Airbus A320 Neo. So it's just some issues with the model matching. Look at that. Right, I'm switching to track IR so I can look around. Yes, ILS is an instrument landing system. It's a system that airplanes use to um, to guide you to the runway. And in some cases, on some planes, it has an auto land feature as well. That's even more com that's even more uh, precise. That we even land you. So we're gonna turn off the uh, weather because we can obviously see it's bad and switch to terrain, because there is a decent amount of terrain surrounding this airport, and I don't want to hit any of it. Huh, the right one stayed on weather, and the left one is now on terrain. 
Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of these speed brakes. And we'll arm them. Oh, look at this. Welcome to Marseille, guys. Oh my god. That's where that screen, that uh, video was taken for the uh, trailer. Over here. At least it looks like it. Might have been some other part of southern France. Alright, the new question is, where is this plane going? Airport's that way. Why are you turning right? Look at that rain. That is hardcore rain right off our nose right now. Alright, so what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna allow it to to turn like it's turning, but I'm actually gonna switch it over to heading mode. And I'm gonna guide myself to the ILS. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because I don't I think it's it's I think it wants to fly the rest of the flight plan that we got rid of. And I wanna avoid these these mountains. Uh, come on, heading mode, turn. Why? Why did you stop turning? Okay, you're being weird. My turn. My controls. You're being weird. Yeah, this autopilot the flies into the darn mountain. I know the general f the vicinity that the airport's in. Marseille traffic. I've used uh, is he visa? What, 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 what is it? Who are we? <laughs> Iberia. <laughs> Marseille traffic. Iberia 116 is on right base runway. Re. Where are we? I already forgot. 3 1 right. Marseille traffic. That was super broken because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say. My airport is. Let's see something real quick. Okay, yeah, gotcha. I know where we are. I am not lost. Alright, land lights. Check. Nope, not check. Alright, guys, we're gonna do this uh, by hand IFR. We're gonna fly the ILS by hand, which is actually pretty fun to do. I recommend you try it sometime. And I'm also gonna change this down. Uh oh. Apparently there's a ATC here. 119.5. This would be a good time to have a, a f uh, another person. <laughs> Alright. Marseille Tower, uh, Iberia 116 uh, approaching uh, Marseille from the east, requesting runway 35, right? Iberia 116, uh, Marseille Provence Tower, hello. The runway 13 left would be open, but if you prefer, you can land runway 31 right as expected. 31? Yeah, that's how that's what I meant to say. So three one is is fine for Iberia one six. Roger Iberia one one six wind one five zero degrees five knots runway three one right clear to land. Three one right clear to land Iberia one one six. All right, we have the field in sight surprisingly, and I'm gonna switch you guys over to the uh, throttle camera for our landing one more time, and uh, we're very close by the way. Auto throttle's coming off, gears dropping down right now. Uh oh, it froze. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Alright, we're a bit high. Uh, so it actually, it turns out that 
Um, they're landing the opposite direction, but he did approve us to land on his runway. So he was basically what he was saying, what he was saying that uh, even though the active runway is the opposite direction, that's the way that they're servicing right now, uh, but he's going to clear us to land on this side. So that's nice of him. So we are coming in a little bit high and fast. So hopefully we can get this uh, slowed down. Look at the F-18 also trying to land with this. And all right, beautiful approach into this city, man. I like this. I think it'd be nice either either direction, honestly. We're still coming in hot. Too low gear. Wait, my gear's not down. Too low gear. I thought the gear was down. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. All right, send your predictions in now, guys. How do you think it's gonna go this time? Okay, a little short. Reverse is green. Eesh. Night air 60 knots. Gonna bring that throttle back. Turn off the reverser and we'll exit here on the high speed exit on the right. Welcome to Marseille, right in time before the storm hit us. Oh, it kind of did, but we kind of flew right in between the clouds to get here, which is pretty cool. Like, the sky just opened up, um, and then we just saw the runway. I was like, oh, hey. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and get our chart ready, because he's going to be giving us some instructions. All right, so that was a 299 that time. Uh, 299 feet per minute for that landing. Liberia 116, taxi to gate 8, Charlie via Charlie 4, Golf 4. Shoot, 8 Charlie, 8 Charlie, Charlie 4, Golf 4. Alright, to gate 8 Charlie via Charlie 4, Golf 4, I'll be your 116. Alright, now I gotta find where the heck that is. Welcome to Marseille, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the ride. Um, definitely need some more practice landing, even with this throttle. So there's a Golf 1 right ahead of us. He said Charlie 4, uh, which is what we're on. Make a right turn here to Golf 3. So go ahead and add some power. Let the flaps up. Thank you, Mr. F-18, Blue Angels F-18, for the escort. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for, uh, uh, you, know, you know, not being like a troll when you did it. It was a, it was a good way to escort people, and he did a, dec a decent job. I'll tell you this, like, if you want to go out there and escort your favorite streamers, just don't get in the way. <laughs> That's really the main thing. And don't be, like, thirsty for attention, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, thankfully, we got here safely. No problems except for the thunderstorms. I'm not sure if I think you can protect us from thunderstorms. We'll taxi straight ahead. We're on Charlie 4 now. We'll make a left on uh, Gulf 3. And our gate that he assigned us was 8 Charlie. So I'm going to go and uh, find out where that is here right now. Thank you. No problem, Jackson. No problem, man. Uh, yeah, like I said, yeah, did a pretty good job, man. All right, let's go ahead and get the APU turned on and running. Provence Tour, Arcade 816, bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, we got to talk in French now. <laughs> Arcade 816, Provence Tour, bonjour. Oh, man. Arcade 816, Cessna 152, au parking à Vaisseau Général. Pour des tours de piste, information bravo, on est prêt à rouler. 
Oh my god, his French accent is so freaking thick. Arcade 816, uh, prenez l'information Charlie avec changement de piste 31 droite uh, active. Dès que prêt à rouler point d'attente Delta 3, piste 31 droite, transpondeur 70-0 unité. Transpondeur 70-0 unité, on prévoit la 31 droite et on a pris l'information Charlie. Arcade 816. So guys, FYI, that was all English. Yeah, that was not in French. That was just like super thick French accent English. Um, I think his very first thing he said was in Sp was in French, but then after that it went to English. So I was like, jeez. But I did actually barely understand it. That was the thickest French accent I've ever heard. Um, but it sounded cool. So whenever I, I say goodbye to this control, I'm definitely gonna say goodbye in French. Which, how do I say that? Ciao? No, ciao is... The chow, chow works. Um, how do you say goodbye in French? I know the answer to that. I'm just having a brain fart right now. All right, one of these is going to be eight, Charlie. For Arcade 816, you told me what point to wait, please. Arcade 816, Delta 3 or Delta 2 au choix. Merci, on prend Delta 3. Arcade 816. I think it's this one right here. If not, oh well. They don't have numbers. Au revoir. Thank you. I knew it was something. I'm going to say merci beaucoup. Au revoir. That's what I'm going to say. It is sick. Today I went through several languages, three different, very different, three different countries. I think they speak a little Spanish in Algeria because they're so close. But... Why is that so loud? The F-18 is so loud. Say, comment ça va? Très bien. What does that mean? Does, does, doesn't it mean, how are you doing? Very good. Isn't that what that means? Why would I say both of those? Alright, parking brake sets. We are here at Marseille, guys. Bien if you knew. And we'll shut the, shut the engines off. So usually, like, you, you know, we said we would uh, hit this switch here. For engine shutdown. But uh, it's not currently working, so. Gotta do it in the sim. If he was available. Very nice. Well, guys, merci beaucoup. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for coming out and hanging out, hanging out with me, man. It was a good flight. Again, we did get to go through two different languages today. It was pretty cool. We landed in Spain. We got to talk Spanish with Barcelona uh, Control. And then we landed here in France. We get to talk French <laughs> with Marseille uh, Tower. So it was pretty darn cool. Um, you know me guys, I love, I love hearing different languages, I love, um, I love trying to speak other languages, I love learning other languages, um, that's just me, I just love, I love that, I love it so much. So thank you guys for joining me with, this today, with me today's journey, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed me showing off the, the new Thrustmaster TCA uh, Airbus Edition Quadrant. And uh, hopefully I was able to answer as many questions as I possibly could. Again, uh, I have emailed Thrustmaster to get a few more clarifications on some things. So I'll be working on a video to explain in better detail um, what is really going on and what is planned in the future and things like that. So thank you guys so much for coming through and showing your love and support and hanging out with me, man. It was fun. Thank you for the, those of you who flew with us on today's flight from both legs, either leg, whichever. Uh, and thank you guys for all the, the new subscribers, people who have donated, the Super Chat donators. Everybody, man, shout out to the, the Blue Games the Gold member crew. Thank you guys for you as well. Come through and chat, man, and uh, leave some love, leave me some emojis, and I'll say... Say what up, give you guys some shouts before we leave. 
Um, but, man, it's been good. Uh, looking forward to it, man. Hopefully you guys will have a great weekend. Again, I'll be back next week. Uh, if I can't do Tuesday, I'll definitely should be here Thursday and Friday. Uh, same time, same place. You guys know what it is. Uh, but thank you very much, Keith B., Captain Cross Country, Clay Studden, Matthew Carrillo. Thank you very much, my friend. Ahmed Fahim, thank you, my friend, for coming through and hanging out with your boy. Uh, who else is here? Tino Starr, thank you very much, bro. Jackson Kamen, Mal Burnt Man, thank you, my friend. RJ, Aviation360. I'm super glad you got your Microsoft Flight Simulator finally working. I do uh, think that's amazing. Uh, who else we got in here hanging out with us? Uh, Malburn says, "Lucky to get one of one. Lucky to get one. Lots of Amazon customers are seeing pre-orders delayed by months. November, December, or no date, or cancel without warning. Very frustrating. Uh, as was look, so looking forward to mine. Yeah, I agree. It is very frustrating. Uh, trust me, I understand. If anything, doesn't matter how big or small it is of a thing that I order off of Amazon or anywhere. If if it doesn't come when I expect it, I start getting upset. <laughs> so I, I get it. I get it. But um." Like I said, they're starting to ship out now. I'm hearing some people are getting theirs. Some people are getting delays. So just hope that you get one uh, here soon, man, because it's, it's pretty cool to use. It's pretty cool. Plane Aviator, welcome to the stream, my friend. Um, VB11TRT Energy, welcome to the stream. Thank you, man, for hanging out with us today. I appreciate that. Grizzly, thank you, my friend, for your feedback. Phil, thank you very much, friend. Appreciate that. Yodmai, thank you, man. Jackson McLovin from Canada. What up, man? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, bro. Yeah, man. Well, on that note, it's time to say goodbye. Let's go outside, though. Oh, wait. I didn't say it. Okay, I'm going to say it first. I must... I think... Actually, I think... Is the, is the frequency still on? Hold on. Let me switch back over. I, I got to say... I got to say goodbye in French. Before we leave, I, I cannot leave without saying goodbye in French. Oh my god, these thunderstorms are nuts. I can't hear him. Oh, there he is. We said, was it Merci beaucoup and au revoir? That's what I was going to say. All right, gotcha. I had a practice. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's my chance. Speak French. On Vatim. <laughs> uh, Bigger116 here. Here we're at the gate. Just want to say uh, merci beaucoup and au revoir. Thank you for the ATC, my friend. Uh, Bigger116, you're welcome. Welcome to Marseille. Good night. Good night. Bonne nuit. That was Portuguese. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. See ya. How do you say it? How do you say it in French? I can't remember. Is it? It's different. In in, in Portuguese, it's uh, you know, noite. I can't remember how to say good night in French. Ah, I know how to say it. I just remember. It's just like I, I don't remember. I, I've learned these basic terms for most for French, for for Spanish and for, for Portuguese so that I can say them when I need to say them. But now that I'm in the heat in the moment, I can't freaking remember how to say it. Uh, gee, yes, I am using Rex Weather with Grizzly um, for, the, uh, for the weather. So that's what we're using right now. If this was, if this was built in weather, it'd be like freaking blue, uh, a few clouds and a bunch of lightning. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm getting out of here. I can't remember how to say it. Thank you for watching. Remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. Merci. Buku. Until next time. I'll see you next time. Next video. I'm out. Bon nuit. Thank you. Bon nuit. There it is. <laughs>